from the Lodge Mahal in beautiful Round Rock, Texas, and now the fifth largest poker room on the planet. Welcome to the Lodge Live. My name is Slick Rick, along with my partner each and every week, Skull Mike. And Skull Mike, you left here at 4.30 a.m. because you bagged big time in the Mystery Bounty Tournament, but you're back for another 100, 200. Tell us who's playing today. Yeah, left later than that, Rick. Didn't get to bed till about 5.30. And uh, woke up around like 8 a.m. And wasn't really that tired. I'm not that tired right now. I'm a little nervous, a little worried in the middle of the show. It might hit me, so you might have to carry the squad to bring us home. The closer, Slicky Ricardo, I'll be the starter. We're rolling seven-handed today because a player canceled and is currently on my shit list. You know who you are. Won't put you on blast. You and the bowl of soup. Okay. His name's Kai. <laughs> We're going to roll without him. Seat one's going to be Josh. Rolling in for 50 dimes. JD is back with us. Coming in for 50 dimes as well. Pierre in the 3C coming in for 50. Ginge in the 4C coming in for 47,000. Doug on the redemption tour looking to rebound after getting crushed yesterday. Coming in for a smooth 100,000. Chad, Tennessee Chad back here again today in for 40. And then the crusher Nick who dominated the game yesterday, back in for 100000 And away we go. And Pierre is wearing his Italia jersey. He said shout out to Italy. Something about an Italian soccer jersey with a Bass Pro Shops hat. Just kind of weird. <laughs> Doesn't really go together. First hand goes to the big winner. If you didn't see last night, check it out in the archives tomorrow or later today after this stream. But Nick won a ton of money, over six figures. We believe he won the largest pot in Lodge Live history, $149,000 pot yesterday. And uh, he had a heck of a day yesterday. Yeah, who do we think is going to win the most this afternoon? Wow, Pierre, come on, man. It's been fucking one minute. I'm thinking it might be Doug. Doug is due. He's due. He's definitely due. I would say Doug or JD is my choice today as far as the big winner. Pierre, what, what do we got going? Let's, let's, rules are rules. Doug or Pierre? JD is, was up like 60,000, 30 minutes. Let's do a draft. Show. Let's, let's each pick two for let's a sandwich. Let's each pick three. Yeah. One person will be the weakest link. Ace is for Pierre. So let's each pick three, and then if your person wins, you win a sandwich. You get first pick. Okay. I'm going to oh, go. God, you got to write this down. Oh my God. He's with the pen and paper again. I'm going to go Doug as my round one. <laughs> going with Doug round one. All right, I'm going to go with Nick. And I'll go JD. Yeah, I signed a sponsorship. They bought me in today. Six. And an all club flop with Tennessee Chad with the nut flush draw. Appear with the aces. I'll go Ginge. Ginge. It's your second pick. Let's see here, this hand first, and then we'll finish our draft. There's the four of spades. Ace is still in the lead. Chad looking for the club. There's the club. So Tennessee Chad starts off right. Nuts. And he is slow playing this one. Pierre not going to fall for it. Loses the minimum there. Only 2.5 pot for Chad. Chad gets active just like he did yesterday on the first hand. Not getting put to the test like he did yesterday. But instead, he looms himself the pot number row. Uno. <laughs> so my, my third pick will be Pierre. I'll take Josh. All right, so there's our sandwich bet. Just the person that needs to be one on the charts. That's, yep. that's how you win. Poor Chad doesn't get selected. Tennessee Chad, he's got his liquor bottles back right over his shoulder. Some new ones, too. The, the boys crushed two of those bottles yesterday. Lisa in the box. Welcome back, Lisa. 
The day I lost a million to Isildur online, I got text from like my family, like, "Are you okay?" <laughs> so we've seen aces and we've Link seen the kings. Says, right off the jump. Dollars, like, "Are you okay, Link?" <laughs> like, yes, I know that happened. <laughs> I'm aware. I'm aware. Thanks for Thank you for that. Tennessee Chad fires out twenty three hundred. With wow. Ace Jack, Nick yeah. comes along Big with win. pocket seven, yeah, and JD wakes game. up with the Cowboys. I know. I I've had He's going to be raising here. I didn't want to send a link to my family because I didn't want them to see me lose like fifty thousand, a hundred thousand. Yeah. No, no, no. Yeah, no. A couple of drunk my, I sent my friends. Yeah. Yeah. It's hard to explain. Huge, though. huge bet incoming. Just like the numbers. Looks like sixty-five hundred. Okay. Yeah, but I'd still feel it if I had a session like that. Yeah, well, that yeah. one's like. Yeah. Is it okay though? <laughs> it wasn't. Can Nick pick up where he left off? I was using like an eighth year bankroll. I'll take the okay? sevens for All right. the sandwich. And on the kings. The rule is today you got to take your player on any sandwich bets if they have pocket pairs. Oh, wow. Ooh, the devil. The devil. Six, six, six. Like, Vote for like, both players. If five wins or losses, it's like he's two on three or whatever. He might even have more big wins, but we just had lots of sessions where he would dump like one or two or JD knows so he's got the coconuts like here. Pot's at 15.3, going for a small sizing 3.5, trying to keep Nick interested. Nick makes the call. That's basically, you actually, I think you Queen of Diamonds, JD not worried about a damn thing. Yeah, I was asking. Imagine he might make this like seven to eight thousand. Keep it small, about one third pot. Reaching for some bananas, carving out. So there's a secure. A little bit more than I yeah. thought he that would. Looks, looks to be maybe about 11 to 12. Is that and they see in real time how much we got there. here? So they make sure the angles everything's good. But then the commentators don't have access to live. They only have access to the live. 11. So right now to see a couple thousand more than I, I thought he would make it, but still. Nick eyeing up JD's stack here. Yeah, so here, I forgot that the ace plays only and my kicker doesn't. <laughs> We're like, wow, these guys are sick. <laughs> Just getting started. Hand number three, huge one, and JD's going to take it down with his higher That's boat there. there. It's a good lay down from Nick. Slick Rick along with Skull Mike here at the Lodge. We're on every Monday, Wednesday, Friday, and Saturday, 3 p.m. Central time. Last night, we, yesterday we had an incredible 100, 200. If you're in the area, there's still time to get to the Mystery Bounty Tournament, of which Skull Mike is now one of the chip leaders heading into day two. 771,000 he bagged? The chip leader. The chip leader. All right. The chip leader. Thank you. Uh, so there's a flight at 11 a.m. today and 5 p.m., and that'll do it for the 1600 Mystery Bounty. And you get a bounty tomorrow, Skull Mike, you can go and pull out an envelope with $100,000. And, of course, you're going to take care of Slick Rick if you pull that $100,000 envelope. Yeah, I'll, I'll buy you a sandwich and a hot dog. All right. Sound good? Doug with ace nine suited, raises it to 500. Oh, I have a steak. Are you expecting like filet mignon or something? Yes, at least a steak dinner. I'll buy you some new sneakers. Tennessee Chad has come out firing today. Yeah, it's a new Chad here. Shifting gears. Doug not going to be going anywhere with his suited ace. Makes the call. So Doug versus Chad. But then there's a five, five, ten. Not really a flop that either player wants to see. Check, check. Tennessee, Tennessee's going to check. And there's the deuce. So Doug will win as long as he stays in. But 
Let's see if Tennessee Chad makes a play here. I think in Birmingham, where I first started playing poker, I played like, yeah. they, uh, the casino there was like, there was no mucks. Doug going to uh, turn his ace high, which probably leaves is the best hand here. Goes for 2K. Don't see Chad coming along with 7 high. And Doug gets a nice win there. On to the next one. And uh, so after today, we're in the midst of the middle of the Lodge Championship Series. It's been going on for about a week and a half. Starting tomorrow, there's a $750,000 guaranteed tournament starting. Six flights. Sunday, Monday, and Tuesday. Two flights each day, 11 a.m. and 5 p.m. There's the Tell us what we alcohol. have on the top shelf today. Jefferson Ocean, Angels Envy. Campan Vita Tequila is what he's a, I guess he, he's a sponsor of, or they pay him something. He's, he told me that he's, he's the best tequila he's ever tasted. Yeah, but. You, are you really that gullible, Rick? Do you think he's sponsored by the tequila brand? He told me that, and I, and I have no reason not to believe you. you believe Chad? Yes. Chad is a gentleman and a scholar. They're staking Chad in this game right now? And I didn't say staking him. That's what Chad said. I think they're giving him the hat. And the free, is, is the booze free? Probably. I bet you it's not. JD with A6 suited. You want to wager? I don't know. I don't know the answer to Scared. Queen for Nick. Rainbow flop here. Not much going on for his opponents here. Checks all the way around back to Nick here on the button. Fires in a banana. They turned off auto talk to the UK. Just for the UK? Chad makes the call here with his gutter ball. Looking for a king. Ace would be trouble. Checks again one more time, and Nick not going to let him off the hook easy. Fires in 3,000. Meanwhile, there's like a William Hill in the corner. Yeah. I didn't realize that you Chad's getting involved early, five hands in. He's been trying to get that V pip soaring. Chad kind of looks like you a little bit. That's why I say he's a good looking fella, and he'll lay it down. Hey, 993 in the chat already. Let's set the overtime number. On or before 6.30 p.m., we need 1,500 likes to send us into overtime. 1,500 likes on or before 6.30 p.m. Why don't you smash it right now? Get yours out of the way. <laughs> what is this little yeah, I mean, you don't live in It's one of those pennies well, you that you put a penny in. Is that yours? Uh, uh, I found it on the floor, yeah, I think. Exactly. So I renounced it's pretty cool. I'm UK. I'm not very It's an armadillo. Like armadillo. Absolutely. I was driving home last night at 5.30 in the morning after this no, playing poker all night in this damn tournament. Yeah, Almost nailed an armadillo in the middle of the road. But then I don't get right. the they're, they're out there. They are. They're out there early. Pocket kings for Doug Polk. Kind of tilting for Doug here. Well, Pierre's going to give him some action, defend the big blind as does Josh makes that call on the button. So going three ways. That ace always comes when somebody has the Cowboys. Pierre looking for a three or six. That's not going to work. Doug's going to win this as long as he stays in. <laughs> see if Doug wants to fire in a little value bet. There's a flush. Yeah, the way this action went, though, you, you'd think one of your opponents would be betting by now. So he Doug realizes he's got the best hand, but his opponents cannot call. Don't see Pierre making a move on Doug early. Not enough in this pot. Going to fold his two pairs, threes and aces. A good fold from Pierre. Doug, another win. Uh, I want to thank our moderators today. I see Jimmy Bluffett out there. I see... The Yoda of the Lodge live stream, Sharon Barth, she's out there. Thank y'all both. Chatsville is the amazing community that we have built, and if you're new to the stream, we welcome you as a full-time resident of Chatsville. Shout out to Beans joining us in chat. I've watched some of his uh, poker sessions. He's a good player. Appreciate you watching Beans. 
Eric Chan with us, Steven Reisman, Noah Schwartz. Uh, you know, Jakey oh, Stein watching on a Saturday. Ace King for Chad. Suited aces for both players, yeah, Doug versus Chad. Like, King for Trey. Pair of fours for Doug, but a pair of kings with top top for Tennessee Chad. Jack of diamonds. Diamonds get there. Nobody has any. Slows down the action. See if Doug wants to check again. Has some showdown value with his four. Like to see Chad firing a little bit of a bet here as he's reaching. Well done, Chad. Strange line. Bets flop, checks turn. Now betting river, but Doug, not going to pay Chad off, makes the fold. Chip values, pink chips, we call them bubble gum. They're $5,000. The yellow chips we call bananas. They are $1,000. Black chips, $100. Green chips, $25. Purple chips are $500. And the red chips you see there, they're $5 each. I forgot to bring in the big league shoe today. Oh, yeah. I had to get those extra Z's, you know? Well, yeah. I was worried you, I, I was worried you were going to call in sick today. Nah. I wouldn't leave you hanging. Cheryl Spencer in the chat. Hello, old friend. What's up, Cheryl? I'm really not even that tired yet. I think it's going to hit me around 5.30. Yeah, you'll be tired. I might need a lifeline. Get some sleep tonight. Have a good meal. Same with the meal sound. Oh, God, we're talking about food already. And no, I just said meal. I'm hungry. Always, always hungry. Yeah, thanks. You know, the UK, they're all about their fish and chips. Ace is going around this table. Almost every hand here, somebody's got one. Ace four for Ginge. Ace Jack. There's the ace for both players. Twelve hundred. Four thousand from Doug. Quick call from Ginge. There's the Queen of Hearts. Fourteen thousand in this pot. It's Jack. Shuts down. Doug does not want to fire in another bet. Holding the ace of hearts. Treading lightly early on here, 20 minutes in. It was fireworks yesterday. Haven't seen those yet, but. Yeah, can't wait to see the highlight. The call at the end of the stream from Ginge with the ace jack made the call on a huge, I believe it was an $18,000 river bet. Made the call for the chop with ace high. Oh, really? Unbelievable. Yeah, I heard about that. I was out there grinding. But I heard about that already. It just it's kind of keeps you awake. Yeah, it gives you a little like, yeah. Raise 1,000. I, I try those like white pouches. Yeah, yeah. Every time I get one. Yeah. I can drink, just drink coffee. believe that's a straddle from Nick. Yeah, it is. Likely, likely going to be one, two, four, plenty today. Ugly. Pocket nines. Waking up with some premiums early. These guys will be battling. Seven handed, nowhere to hide. Wow, really off to a good start today. Huh? <laughs> Jeez, winning pots. Oh, oh man. Uh, there's the lodge cam and uh, a lot of cash games going on as you can imagine cumulative winning so far Doug Polk up eleven thousand dollars early 
<laughs> Nick and Ging currently <laughs> losing 8,100 respectfully. Just getting started here. It's got the tennis channel going in the lodge. You see a little Novak Djokovic over there. We've got about 10 game seven. <laughs> Basketball, hockey, should be a good day of sports. And poker. And poker. Pocket tens now for Doug. He's at nines. Ace Jack, Kings. They got the lead. Let us know how the sound is, folks. We we think we got it dialed in good today. We'll try to listen to a lot more table talk as well today, because I know many of you like that, and the room is more conducive today to let us dial into the table more. So far, so I'm far. sure once that mystery bounty flight gets kicking, especially the final flights, people will start creeping towards the stream. Is that a thing? Do you think he looks like Alex Riley? Well, just on him, just on Slightly, like in that... I think it's the time of the sand. Oh, maybe so then. Maybe I was... Yeah, he's left hand. Ah, I see the picture. How did he go there? I... Yeah, that's what was happening. It took me a second. I got you. Sorry, I should have cleared that one. No, no, no. Deuce tray four, wheel for Pierre. What a flop here for Pierre. Josh with the over pair on the flop. This could be our first big one of the day. As Josh raises it up to 4.3. And you know who we got to call, Rick. Somebody's got to call Vanna White. Because this is a wheel of fortune on the flop for Pierre. Don't steal my lines. Shame on you. Six of diamonds, so Josh's over pair is still good, but a five would make a straight for all. Now Pierre picks up diamonds as well. Yeah. Diamonds as well as the straight. Josh right now just hoping for a five to chop. Interesting bet here from Josh. Down bets on the turn after raising larger on the flop. How will Pierre maneuver these streets here? Just going to flat, not going to raise just yet. Another three. Board paired, but the way the action goes, I don't... Josh probably still thinks he's good. Let's see if he wants to elect for a little pot control or go for value. Unlikely that Pierre is holding a deuce or a four. But what would Pierre be calling with this entire way? Interesting to see the sizing that Josh goes with here. Reaching for chips. No, goes shuts down checks. Pierre never checking here. What will he be targeting? Probably trying to imagine that Josh has some type of ace high holding, perhaps sevens plus. Wants to get called. I don't know if he's going to make this too large and make it look bluffy. Maybe something like 9,000. About half pot from Pierre. Reaching. Gonna go for a little less than nine, I think. Or like 7.5, 6.5. So, targeting those ace highs. Tough spot here for the tens. Good bet from Pierre, trying to make the maximum here. If you're Josh, I don't, I don't see Josh getting away from this right now. I think he's going to pay this off and see the bad news. Yeah. 
lays it down. Lays so it down. Josh, who got touched up last Saturday on the 5100-200 PLO stream, seems to be locked in right now and makes a very good lay down. Pierre wins about 20K in that pot. We'll be back Monday with a little 2510 $2,000 cap. Wednesday we'll be back on the stream with 51020. And then next week, we may have a special guest. We have a couple special guests next week. A couple. Wednesday is a fire lineup. Poker Traveler, Seti, Mr. Mike, Eli, Boston Jimmy will be back. Boston Jimmy. Kitty Ko will be visiting for multiple streams. Mariano. Rumor has it Mariano will be coming to town as well for multiple streams. So you want to make sure you subscribe to the channel and, of course, liking every video that we fire out there into the YouTube land. All for free, all for you guys. That's why we do it, folks. So help us out. We want to be the best that there is out there. Straddles on one, two, four. Let us know where you're watching from. We always like to know with 1,500 in the live chat right now. Where are you watching from? I'm watching from Round Rock, let's, the bunker. Let's see a roll call here. Boston. Yeah, maybe we should just make his name Boston Jimmy from Cincinnati. Here looks down at King Queen off. India, Seattle, what's up, Alex? Thank you for watching. Ed's watching from Earth, that makes sense. I'm watching from Earth, too. Japan. Yukon Canada, want to thank our good friend Iron Mike Brady for joining us yesterday. We have a new toy in the bunker that will allow us to remotely patch into folks from time to time. So look for that in the future. <laughs> Jimmy's up there at uh, Choctaw. So close, Jimmy Bluffett. So close to the Lodge Mahal. Yeah, because if you're already in Choctaw, you might as well make your way down here for the LCS. I, I saw a gym stadium. I'm like, I got something to learn if I attend today. Scotland in the house, Chile, Trinidad, Germany. Plenty of people watching from overseas. I took like an hour. I lost six more thousand for that. Come out of my blind today. Yeah, I got that. King 10-9, couple of hearts. Tennessee Chad checks it back with... Now with two pair with another nine. Thought we'd see more people watching from Israel. Haven't seen many Israelis now. Marco Lapenga from Italia. Marco, look at seat three. Piera, Piera is wearing an Italian soccer jersey. Oh, you can turn the card over. They'll quit bringing the meat to us. <laughs> like, yeah, I got to turn it over. They brought some salad list out. Like, no, skip the salad. Chad, that's a different Chad story. doesn't eat salad. He <laughs> went to a Brazilian steakhouse. <laughs> left it on <laughs> green the whole night. <laughs> I, I, I went home and cried. Right across the, uh, the road? He probably went right across the road. Probably. Why did we not go with Chad? I don't know. This is the question. I can't even tell you the place's name. It's literally across the street. It has like a, let's say like a French looking name, but like. Maybe Portuguese? Huh? Maybe Portuguese? Maybe Portuguese. Because it's a Brazilian steakhouse. Maybe. Brazilian? Maybe Brazilian? Brazilian? Portuguese. Portuguese? Yeah. It's the Portuguese yeah. of Portuguese. Portuguese is the. You know, it's the Portuguese. Where do they speak Brazilian? They don't. <laughs> <laughs> Only in the Amazon. All the boys chilling. Shooting the shit, having a giggle. Noam is from Israel. Hello, Noam. As long as you know where America is, Noam. I'm after you're good. Noam. There you go. Sounds better. I had a friend in middle school named Noam. So did I. And Mark, and Moshe, and Oren. I had a bunch of them. And Moshe's parents had a real good marriage. <laughs> Jimmy Bluffett, if you come to the lodge, we will let you hang out in the bunker. Absolutely. Hell yeah, Jimmy. 
Bring your cigar, too. You're only five hours away from the bunker where you're sitting right now. Less than that. Jimmy drives fast. Nick and JD. 10 10 tray on the flop. Is that what you think, first round? That's a five, but I should have risen to all right, I've decided when we get to 100K subscribers. Yeah. I'm serious. What? On this one. What? Meetup game in Melbourne. Melbourne. Oh, my God. That's a long flight. <laughs> Doug will take care of the first class tickets. Melbourne, Florida? No. We're going all the way down. Oh, my God. We're going to Aussie Millions. We're going to go to the Australian Open. We're going to play some 1 2. We, are, we have a fan club in Melbourne. There's your cumulative winnings. JD up 11,000. Doug up 10K. Pierre up 8,500. Everyone else is losing. Look at Doug. You have all three of those guys, by the way. I do. It's early, though. You never like to be up early in this game. And it's not cumulative. You just It's one person up at the top. Winner exactly. take Exactly. Who's marking the ten of hearts? Uh, There's the V-pip, Doug at 43%. Tennessee Chad at 37%. Ginge Poker down at the bottom right now at 12%. We'll have to get the hookup from our Australian fan club. Yeah, I'm not even joking. You down? I'd go. That That's like a long-ass flight, though. You're not getting any younger, Rick. You I might as well live it up. I am. I want to hear your excuses. Luca from Italia. Ginge raises it up with double nickel to a thousand. Three, two players. Heads up with Nick. King, King, seven. Ginge, two pair, the best of it. Makes it 900 to go. Kings and fives. Nick's still interested with backdoor spades, the over ace. America was founded on cowboys and nerds. And he's not going to like that turn. Checks again over to Ginge. Ginge might make this like 3K, something like that. Goes for a lot less, 1100. And Nick lays it down. The Island Files from the Netherlands. How are you, sir? Huge in the Netherlands. Lodge Championship Series. Check us. Check it out on the website, thelodgepokerclub.com, or one of our moderators can hit the information but button about Lodge Championship Series. The main event coming up, three thousand dollar buy-in, guaranteeing in that tournament a two million dollar prize pool. Not too shabby. Jason D asked a question, having not played a lot of poker. You pretty much know what you're stacking. And the answer is yes. As a poker player, if you want to take it very seriously, you want to be aware of how much you have in your stack and how much your opponents have in their stacks. So you want to maneuver different streets accordingly and not put yourself in positions that are unwarranted. So you're always aware of how much you have in front of you, and you're probably likely aware of if you're up or down in the session. Sometimes like that. Puts out Ali from Turkey asked about Brad. Well, if you're a fan of Brad, Owen, Andrew Nemi, Doug Polk, come on. On the 22nd of this month, just eight days from today, and they're going to have a meetup game right here at the Lodge Mahal. They'll rotate from table to table, say hello to folks, and play a little bit. Year and a half. Year and a half. Okay. Yeah. Two days. Yeah. Okay, you're in the conversation. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, it has to count for something. He's wearing 
That was a good question, Jason. There's never a bad question. So if anybody else has any questions that they want to fire away to Slick and I, feel free. We take pride in engaging with our chat. We are nothing without you guys watching. So help us out. Hit that like button. Yeah. And let us know you're enjoying the program. Chat is our third member in the bunker. We value y'all more than you could ever know. There were, when we first started, and there were, I remember the night we got 100 people in the live chat. We were jumping up and down, high-fiving each other, and now, look at it right now, 1,600 and climbing. We hope to get several thousand in here as we progress through the day. Aces for Tennessee Chad makes it 1,000 to go. JD not looking to three bet there from the small blind with King Jack off. And no action with the aces for Chad. Some of these premium hands are just not running into anything else and they're just taking taking down the blinds. Daniel from Zimbabwe yeah, wants to see action Adam. Adam lives in Chicago, so. He's welcome whenever he wants. Answer uh, Paul's question there, Rick. <laughs> Who is a lifetime between the two of you and Potts played again? We haven't played too much poker against Answer each other. Answer the question, Rick. I don't know. Are you great, great man? Maybe you, $27? I don't know. I got you some Just ask Jake Stein what happened last time we had the home game at his house. I won. I walked away a winner that You night. won? Yes. I thought I felt it everybody at the table twice. Ace for Doug and for Chad. You won, please. Nice Flush draw, draw for Chad. Chad. Chad's yeah. all over this board. Now actual heads up. <laughs> oh, with the heads up <laughs> Doug now with two pair. Vaults to the lead. Yeah. Lim Shady 99, you, you pay a weekly pass. There are no daily passes, but yes, from 6 to 11 is free time. What a turn card here for Doug. An action, eight of hearts. Chad betting 4.3. Doug eyeing up Chad's stack. Is he going to put it all in here? No, not putting it all in, but we might see a raise. Not going all in just yet, but we'll see what happens on, on the river. Doug might raise and Chad might rip it, but Chad's been kind of treading pretty conservatively. You can easily see Doug make this something like 10,000 and set himself up for that river jam, something like 10.5 or so. Let's see what Doug decides to do. No, I'm imagine you have like seven. All see, in. I told you. Good, good, I felt it. Good call, Rick. Good call. My apologies. You were right on that one. I did not think Doug would empty the clip right there, applying max pressure to Chad. Yeah, well, with the one go, this could throw the rose very well. <laughs> and the one, my great feet ago, this is I had a day off one day, and I was yeah, curious. Like, okay, you just popped out of your chair, all excited, like <laughs> just the way Doug was like looking won at the, the lottery. Chips. Let's listen in. Once again, Rick says, "Let's listen in" when nobody's saying a damn word. <laughs> Chalk that off your bingo card. What do they think about your ginger? <laughs> Chad in a tough spot. Don't know if Chad really wants to play for it all early on. 41 minutes in, and Chad is going to lay it down. <laughs> Chad tells the table is holding, so I would not advise that. Doug up 20,000 early. Wish we could have rabbited that river there. I was curious. 
Yeah, I, I just got that impression the way Doug was looking at the chips. I think Tennessee Chattel had 30,000 chips left. The way Doug's been running, you know, Chad calls that spade is coming yes. right there. Bink one time, Max Payne. But instead, Doug starting to gain a little momentum, some confidence. I did not have much equity on the floor. <laughs> Six nine. <laughs> Turn. Turn. We had a lot of equity going on. Had a lot of equity. Eight six four. A couple of spades. Nine over eights now. Yeah, action flop here. Pierre, top pair with a solid kicker, and Chad with the over pair to the board. 1K for each player. To the turn we go. Spades get there. Both player with a spade. Neither player too excited about that queen, but Pierre still reaching for chips. Don't see Chad going anywhere for the price of 2300 Looking down at his chips, he'll make the call. Here with a ton of outs here. Spade King or eight. That's not going to be one of them. Kind of see Chad with the nines as long as he stays in. Curious to see what Pierre does. Has a lot of showdown value. Does he think his eights are best? Does he need to turn this into a bluff? He decides to check, Just and Chad eight. quickly checks behind, nine. and the nines are good. 1,900 of you in the live chat. The overtime number today on or before 6.30 p.m. That <laughs> is in a cool two hours and 45 minutes. We need 1,500 likes. That's how we get to overtime. Chat determines it each and every show. I got a tournament to play tomorrow, too, so I'll, I'm not going to push it too hard. It's, it's up to you guys. I'll do it for you guys if you guys do the dirty work. But if not, I'll gladly go home, pour myself a little Johnny Black, maybe fire up a steak, watch a little Game 7, and, and call it a night, Rick. Call it a night and get back here at 2, is it 2 p.m.? Just don't text me tomorrow, Rick, at all. I'll text you. I'll have my people contact you. Just stay, stay out of my business. I'm going to be here. I'm going to rail you the want, whole... Yeah, no, gonna, railing. <laughs> no railing. Pause. No railing. I'm going to have a <laughs> sign. Go skull. Pom-poms. <laughs> Canine wolf for Nick. King queen for JD. I thought it was fun. Deuce, deuce, tray. I think it was actually Rockefeller. <laughs> Yes, Kevin, you are the only one who thinks that. Nothing wrong with $500 chips. Queen of clubs. So funny how um, like one or two people are so fixated on our chips. I, I think they're beautiful, the colors. They're not talking no, about the I mean, colors, are they? Well, they're just they're talking about no, there's there's $500 nomination. There's one one in the chat who is always, always says, There's always oh, one, I, I like He says we need to get classic I chips. I think these are. Yeah, yeah. Chips, are chips are chips, man. You know? It's just real they're scary. It's all good. How many fights have they lost? Paul? How many fights have the Paul brothers lost? Yeah, I would be really fucking scared if you bet any of those fights. I bet on Paul all the time. Yeah, then that was the smart line. And I mean, there have been like the Askren one. He admitted that he got paid, right? Mm -hmm. no, the Askren one or the Woodley one? The Woodley no, one. He, nobody, nobody, nobody. Yeah, yeah, someone paid. came out and said that they got paid. I, I would. Askren was like just coming off an injury, and he was like under training. And also, I'm sorry, but I'm just not buying the professional fighters lose to YouTubers who train no, for a year. Right. I'm just not. No, no, sorry. No. Was, Doug, it's, it's, call me, call me a conspiracy theorist. Call me whatever you want. But no, like but the guy who fought for Ips Gaming, for just give life, me. Uh, no, but it makes sense. Like Askren. You know, give me at least a week or two. It's like saying like schedule filling up fast for uh, May, but up, plenty of uh, open seats in ring, June. Like, so if anybody's interested in playing on stream, you know where to contact me at Instagram or Twitter at Small 
like the, poker. Like, Who's the, the kid like, from Miami Jordan that's playing on Wednesday that contacted you? I have no idea. Anyways, I played with him last night. He's playing on the stream. He got in contact with you a few weeks ago. I'm in contact with a lot of people. I don't remember where they're from just 100% of the time. No, but Putting me on the spot. Matty J stumbles into the chat. What's up, Matty? His he real name is Clarence. People ask him sucks. A basketball player. He makes videos on YouTube. No offense. No, no. <laughs> no offense to me. No offense <laughs> to me. No offense to the <laughs> YouTubers. No offense to myself. <laughs> but he's, uh, he's trained and he's like, he has skills. And he's fighting no boxes. Do you want to believe in these? Am I ruining the bubble? Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, 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 no. You know what? Actually, I, I, I actually think he's a pretty good fighter. No. <laughs> I'll tell you what. I'll tell you what. You know what? Next fight, like you can have the other guy. Right. No, but he has never fought a boxer, so it's doable. He, he's it's not like... Okay, let me put it like this. Floyd yeah. Mayweather didn't beat Logan Paul. They called it a draw, right? No, he beat him. No, it was a draw. It was a draw, no, right? Yeah. No contest? No. It was a, no, it was It was a, a beat him or did he, he said knock him out? He went the distance he went and won the decision. Yeah. Okay. Do you really think that Floyd Mayweather would knock Logan Paul's lights out? I would, yeah. That was confirmed that they had an agreement to not knock, not knock each other out, right? Oh, yeah, I don't know. That was, it wasn't like a, that was a weird one. So that's like an exception if anything to all the rest. Not knock each other out? Yeah, that was an exception. That, that particular one. How do you have a not knockout mm -hmm. box in the box? Mm -hmm. I, I'm just saying, I, I think it's a waste time to watch them. JD makes it 1,200 with King 10 off. I think that there's sketch shit going on behind Here says, let's play with pocket fives. Lisa in the box. A 6-6. Six, six. You know, if you like the Paul Brothers. Five yeah. still in the lead. Which one is, which one is the fight? They both fight. The one that's the fucking coming on the younger one. Jake Paul. Jake Paul. <laughs> Dr. S. Applauds us that we're controlled today. Can't guarantee we'll always be controlled, but right now we are. JD's going to take it down with King High. Slick Rick Skull Mike in a little 100-200 Saturday afternoon poker on the Lodge Live. If it turns into what we were yesterday, had some huge pots with Nick over there in the seventh seed. Won over a hundred thousand dollars yesterday on the stream. I mean, WWE, like those guys are really wrestling. Yeah, that's why I bet on. Yeah. <laughs> Doug rather bet. WWE these guys are talking wrestling again, like they were talking <laughs> yesterday. <laughs> when I asked the favorite wrestler question, I think I got Hulk Hogan oh, the most. Is that the name you saw? I saw. The master wrestlers. I think that's the one I saw the most. Paul, favorite Slick Rick song. I mean, they don't even, it's not like WWE, don't even, it doesn't remotely seem real. It's like, super fake. It's like, yeah. They do that in Thailand. King Kai is not playing today, Ben. So you can volunteer to fight somebody else in the crowd. That obviously is fake. Called in sick. But, um, with the actual. Overslept. It's definitely fake. It's not that bad, though. How many fights have you been in? Ace-7 of spades here for Nick. Well, for sure, in the mix. Uh, you never well you're lucky you didn't go to, uh, uh, was it, jail in Thailand? Prison. Prison. Whatever yeah. it would have been. The, the, the next step. The next step, uh, prison. They call it the uh, the Bangkok Hilton. Yeah, I remember you yeah. talking about that. Did you ever go watch one of those white fights? Like, Heads up, no, Nick no, and Josh, no, Ace, no, Trey, no, Trey. No, Trey. No, Two pair for Nick. Pause in the action here. Nick in good shape to win this pot. Getting our graphics situated. But 
JD in this pot, but not much going on from JD, but he's still firing the chips, makes it 2100 to go. Deuce to hearts on the turn. JD picks up a little more equity with a four for a straight. Still in rough shape. Two pair for Nick. I believe Nick, Nick already checked. So the action's on JD. Does he want to fire another bullet here after picking up some more equity? Does. Reaching for chips. Pot at 11K. And it's a $6,500 bet from JD. Nick wastes no time reaching for calling chips. So we have a pot building here, Rick. 24,000 in the middle. And JD strikes out on the river. Action has stayed the same throughout this entire hand. Nick checks it on over to JD. And JD fires in chips, but he no longer wants to do that. Checks it over, and Nick will take it down. Two pair. And the big pot for Nick. Yes, our, our chips. I, I personally, my favorite is the bubblegum chip right there, those pink ones. Look just like a stack of the old bazooka bubblegum that you'd get at the store with the little comic inside. Because you get all these weird different situations. I never really liked but comics. I didn't either, like but probably because I didn't really like reading like much. Yeah, yeah. Bubble, like, Just being honest. Way more of an art to try this. But you can follow along with comics with just the pictures, right? Dark arts. Oh, you mean running good? No, tournaments in general. What were the good comics? Anybody in the chat know a lot about comics and what were the good ones? I feel like Austin's a good city for a bunch of... There's probably still a couple of good comic stores around somewhere, right? Pierre will take down some chips. Yeah, if you win the Euros, right? Yeah. I mean, I think, I think if you win the Euros, you have an automatic bid. Yeah. You already proved yourself, right? 2,000 now in the live chat and climbing. They had a really hard time. We'll be back on Monday with some more action. Every Monday, Wednesday, Friday, and Saturday, the Lodge live stream. If you haven't yet subscribed to our channel, doesn't cost you anything, and it'd be pretty cool if you did. It'd help us out. In our race to 100,000 subscribers, I think when I came in today, it was 61,400. Luke says there's a comic store right next to the lodge. Interesting. A lot of people like the Archie. Uh-oh. Bingo, bango, bongo for Nick. Yeah, nuts for Nick, but nothing for Ginge. But still reaching for a small bet, 800. Not flush with the steel wheel redraw. Don't see Ginge getting out of hand here, but you never quite know with Ginge poker. And Nick wasting no time makes a 4,000 snap fold from Ginge. Mixing poker, how are you today? Heard you're gonna dye your head hair green if the stars win. Love to see that. The incredible, talented Lisa is in the box. So happy to have her. Doug with King Queen. 
Aces with Chad. Second time today that Chad's woken up with Aces. And he's going to get some action this time around. Three bets to 5.2. Three bets rather large. And everybody does fold just a little bit too big from Chad. Scares his opponents out of the pot. Nick is saying that was the seat yesterday that I had. That was so incredible where Tennessee Chad is sitting. Her Tennessee Chad has a big fan base out there. If you are a fan of Tennessee Chad, let us know in chat. There's just so much content on the Yeah, I'm sorry. You gotta be like, okay, yeah, now we'll talk. Doug wakes up with Big Slick. Calls the thousand dollar raise from Pierre. <laughs> Pair of tens for both Pierre and JD. Back door hearts for JD. Gutty for Doug. A little something for everybody here, and Pierre, with the best of it currently, makes it 800 to go. Doug not done with it yet for that price. Going to make the call and hope and pray that a jack falls on the turn. Or king, that would work too. Easy, I read. The room is packed. Take my word for it. We'll have a lodge cam in a minute. Come on down here. Do some diamonds on the turn. <laughs> Rick's favorite card in the deck. <laughs> No help for both JD and Doug. Pierre with the check mark. Do any one of these gentlemen want to turn their holdings into a bluff? Or do they believe that their tent has good enough showdown value? JD checks it on over. Pierre still has Doug to act behind him. So he checks it on over, and Doug snap checks as well, waves the white flag. 5.7 going over to Pierre. Carlos, thanks for that comment. We appreciate you spending a little time with us on a Saturday. Or depending on where you are in the world, it could be Sunday already. Our folks from Australia and India. But we learned that you could have different time zones on the half hour. On the half hour. Forgot about yes. that. Should have known that. $400 straddle again. James gets out of the way with Jack Four. Doug as well. Tennessee Chad wakes up with Big Slick. Makes it a thousand. A lot of premiums for Chad so far today. Only one hour into the stream as we hit the four o'clock hour. Anthony says hello from Lebanon. Folks, if you want to play on stream, follow these instructions on your monitor. I set the lineups for every game here on stream. Skull Mike Poker, Instagram or Twitter. Or visit the lodgepokerclub.com slash live stream and fill out the questionnaire. The pink chips, bubblegum chips are 5,000. Yellow chips are 1,000. Purple are 500. Black are 100. Green or 25. Josh with Gretzky hand. Jack 4, 8. 
Straight draw for Ginge. Another eight. Nobody with a club out there. Also, you're incentivized to try and make your guarantees big. You're also to win. But then, now you're, you know, on the hook for that guarantee. So it's a, it's a very interesting kind of game theory situation. How big do you go that actually works versus just a punt Who's in charge of that? Quick call from Josh. There's another eight, so now a boat for Josh. Queen high for Ginge. Simon, thanks for that message. Really good advertising, like. We appreciate it. Big bet coming from Josh. 5.4. Ginge can't really do much here. Not making a hero call with Queen High. Might elect to raise, though, as he has some ideas in his head here. Twenty-one hundred in the chat. Thank you for tuning in and joining us on your Saturday afternoon, evening, Sunday morning, whatever it is. We are live from the lodge in Round Rock, just north of Austin. Ginge reaching for chips, and he's not calling. He'll be raising. What did he make it there? He made it 14,000. Josh, shaking his head, lays it down rather quickly. It gets done. Ginge with the bluff. Not afraid. Another highlight for Ginge Poker. Can't wait till last night's, yesterday's game highlights are released probably in a few days. You get up. You get up. You'll do well if you get up. Hey, I'll put you all in. Bring me your bounty. We'll do it together. Yeah. Well, good one. Great bluff. There's the V-Pip. Tennessee Chad leading the way, 35%. Josh, 17%. Everybody's playing a lot. I'm a friend of coaches at Major League Soccer. So I go to the games, yeah. I go to like this Dynamo game. I'm quite a Portland. The guys in Portland are my friends. So, yeah. Three waves to a flop. Queen, queen, four. Two pair for Doug. What is that correction? <laughs> Check all the way around. There's a tray of clubs. I feel a little pressure. I'm going to restrain for now. I'm going to talk about it. You wanted us all to say, like, we'll be your friend. Doug is going to take another pot down. Everyone's like shuffling chips. Slick Rick Skull Mike here on the Lodge live stream every Monday, Wednesday, Friday, and Saturday, 3 p.m. Central Time. This is our boy Harbs. Boy Harbs, find me 10 people. Harbs. Last two days have been crazy for the live stream. 100, 200 action. Right. I think we started the game with four, over 400,000 on the table. Three players will go to the flop. Doug with ace jack. Deuce, deuce, eight. Pierce still with two pair. You got it, Pierre. 
here is going to take it down. <laughs> yes, Lewis, I, I agree. Uh, Ginch Poker is has been a joy to watch. He's been on a few of our streams recently. It was just the but last night it was just incredible to watch some of the moves he was making. And even just now with that big bluff to force Josh off of the winning hand. Good poker. Damn, I've got short legs as it is. I'm going to say no. Ginge raises it to 1,200. Doug re-raises it with a seven suited to six thousand. Ginge with Gretzky, pocket nines, comes along. Jack Jack five on the flop, one heart. Two hundred is the bet. Big stack of banana chips for Jins. Raised the ten grand. Doug's gonna lay it down, and Jins making a run here. The last couple hands. Putting some chips in play. I didn't go to the streets. I went to the, the safe. The safe. Yeah. yeah. Nice hand pre flop. Nice little yeah. small bet. That's Got a it. case of water that was just delivered to the bunker. He's got the best shirt. Well, about he got Bodie's best shirt today. Bodie's best shirt. I like the shirt. It's hard to beat. 2200 in the live chat. Thanks for joining us. I can feel that he fell over. Oh, it's it's probably like it's like, this is the nice shirt. shirt. It's the second oh, best shirt. My nice shirt. <laughs> Congratulations to Maestro Matt Sweeney. Got on the poker table after the stream yesterday and won himself 150 bucks. Our executive producer, first time. In a long time playing live poker, decided he wanted to try his hand, and he ended up winning. It's like five dollars to get like a whole suitcase worth of laundry. Yeah, it's pretty good. Good value. Yeah. Good value. I just found a pickup and drop-off service in Vegas. Twenty dollars for a whole suitcase. Never do laundry again. Yeah, laundry sucks. But you gotta do it. So there's the table, there will be someone that like clearly doesn't do the laundry enough and they smell bad and you're like, do I say something? And you're like, I feel like I should just say something. And you're like, yeah, but then how's that going to go? Yeah. Mm -hmm. You're like, I won't say anything. You just sit there in the stench. I don't want to do it. You know what I'm saying? In, in a lot of Everyone's been there. Yeah. Oh. Have you ever been to Dustle Dawn in the UK? Uh-uh. Is that wrong? Yeah. Place? Have you ever make yeah. a visit to the UK for some nice stuff? Like, go there. I would recommend it. It's really great room. Like, uh, what they do, they put mouthwash and deodorant in the toilet. <laughs> I don't say it, but they say, hey. 664. Nice. Yeah. Three ways. So you're saying here we need. Full <laughs> well, mouth wash. It hurts. There's a deuce. Ace Queen still in the lead here. Pretty much a jump ball here. Anybody who bets it, I think, it would take it down here. See if I'm right. Eighteen hundred. I was wrong. JD says I've got Ace Queen. So now the Ace will play for JD. Ace alone, two pair with the Ace kicker. Checks it on op over. Door is open for Pierre. Knows he can't win this pot with nine high. And he's reaching. 
5,500, rather large sizing from Pierre. JD thinking about it. And he's going to make that call. Ace high is going to be good. A nice call from JD. Pierre shows his nine high. JD picks him off. You ran, you ran into a Pierre. Nothing you can do that. Matt Barnett says, when does Lodge daycare open? Uh, probably not for a, not ever. We will not be opening a daycare here at the Lodge. Cumulative winnings, James oh, up 9,700. JD up 8,900, Doug Polk up 7,200, Nick in the plus. On to the next hand. Well, I prefer them now at the table to the, uh, the normal inclusives, so I just bring it to the table now in Vegas and say, can you use this instead? Can you really? Yeah. You know, like, I just had a legal meeting about this like two days ago. Really? And it increases the, the liability for them pretty dramatically to oh, have wow. those. You bring your own, I guess it's kind of weird, but like, let's just say that they use it on your neck, you have a seizure, what's going to what's yeah. happen? So many legal meetings. Like, uh, any legal question I have, I'm just going to text you because I assume you've already had a meeting. Please, uh, please don't. <laughs> <laughs> I know you've already paid some money. Doug, Doug. <laughs> <laughs> One of the greatest legal minds of our generation. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. JD and I'd say it's, it's going to be Josh and Ginge <laughs> going heads up. If you do this Ace, podcast, King, Trey. Can you say that ten times fast? I forgot how I word it. I will sue you, basically. Jimmy B, the uh, coin yeah, man with a right, delivery <laughs> to the bunker. Yeah, I mean, it's the Who is this? Jimmy with the B. Well, yeah. the thing about what someone threatens you to not Thank do, you. Do online is it's oh so easy to make goodness. sure you're covered. You just very closely monitor how you say things. Oh, my like, goodness. Like, in my opinion, or allegedly. Or Presents or into the bunker delivered by Jimmy B, the coin man. And got also, me a bottle of Crown and... It's not illegal to say... And Skull Mike a bottle of Johnny Walker Black. Thank you, brother. So you have to say false things. You never know what's going to show up at the bunker. Fiction. Jimmy B so always that. delivers. I mean, always delivers. Jimmy B. It was like DoorDash. It just came right to the door. Yeah. Bottle of Crown, bottle of Johnny Walker Black. We didn't even order it. Got to put this up there so we can <laughs> see the <laughs> monitor. The <laughs> put it next to Yoda. Yeah. Well, I'm not familiar with what you're talking about. He <laughs> just said he wouldn't bet against him. <laughs> Thank you, Jimmy B. Man. <laughs> he knows what we like. Oh, jeez. Oh. You mean, so the the calls, more calls for Doug. More attorney goes. Oh, <laughs> right back to basics. Oh. 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 Oh
$700, and that's going to keep oh, so Chad interested. Like he, lose, just so like he makes the call, going to yeah, peel, yeah, yeah, yeah. hoping for an he ace on do. this turn, and there it is. Yeah. Yeah. Ask for it, and you shall receive. Not the card that JD wanted to see. Chad quickly checks it on over, and another ace falls on the river. That's pretty intense. <laughs> Chad goes for three points too. I don't think JD thinks his sevens are any good here. Don't see him paying it off. Beating a six, beating a three. Chad is in the straddle, so it does have those in his range, but... JD looking quite curious, but he's going to be wise enough to send those cards into the box. It's hard for Tennessee Chad to get action when he was telling the table earlier on where he folded the nut flush draw with an ace. So the table knows that he's not trying to give it up easily. And that might hinder his abilities later on in the session to make profits on his premier holdings. Because public opinion changes so fast and so far-reaching that if you don't defend your name and brand to some capacity, then you'll take you'll take. That's right, Jimmy. Meetup game in Australia, 2023. So you, you, you Gas know. up the jet. But like nowadays, if I go like tell people like Doug just said a bunch of racist shit in the back. Just like, what? just like, why is he not here? Make shit up. People will believe you. You have to defend yourself. Oh, you know where I stream, right? You know where I stream, right? I just like, why? No, you do not say anything. Like, you're mighty. I'm not well known. Why even put that into the universe? I just say, if I was crazy, if I was crazy. Beth Allen loves herself some Tennessee chat. Tennessee Chad is a great human being. Rick and I have chatted with him a bunch in the past two days, and he's got nothing but positivity and good energy. Wait, no, not Jesus. I've made a good friend in Tennessee Chad. I, I will claim that I gave him the nickname. It wasn't hard, though. His name is Chad. He's yeah. from Tennessee. You're really trying to take credit for that? I will. Because <laughs> no. Yeah. No, that's weak. You're better than that. No, I, I'm for a man that takes pride in his nicknames, you don't need to suit down to that level of shame. You're better than that. You're really. You're getting desperate. That's, that's weak sauce. Take credit first. His name's Chad, and he's from Tennessee. Tennessee Chad. Please. Also, in poker, it takes an especially enormous amount to get canceled. I mean, you can, like, you can actually just scam people for piles of money, and then people will be like, hey, you're off in the game. I'm not loaning you money, though. And then you As long as you cash, you cash out. Pass that cash. Maybe he doesn't But the only person I can think of that truly got canceled was possible. Yeah. I'm a two five game, you know, yeah. Heads but, up, I mean, he's Nick and Pierre. He shows up, man, he would be risking ten eight a deuce pair of tens for Pierre. No, I mean, there was there was two there was two cases. The criminal he he defended, I think. But the civil he had to settle or, or somehow. But he's busted, so there was no payment. I think he settled, but then I think he like countersued for like defamation. Some nine ball, so both players with a pair. Countersuits for defamation. Open ender for Nick. Pair of tents is going to win as long as he stays in. Defamation suits. Why are they just broadcasting them? I think Johnny Jerry wants it. Because Johnny Jeff's trying to clear his name, basically. But in general, aren't court proceedings done in. Well, he's he's lost his job because of it. Yeah. And so he's trying to out that he's innocent so that he can get his jobs back. Yeah, he wants the court of public opinion. No, I didn't so give Nick from Yuma that nickname, but I did give him the moniker Mayor of Chatsville. 
also there. Wasn't like the MJ trial he was is the mayor of Chatsville. Yeah, you see also yeah, yeah. clips on that. Yeah. I mean, there was of course, it was sketches, though. Like, yeah. sketches yeah. and stuff. Good. Oh. But, yeah, it was, every day people would update. It was, yeah. Oh, they lost some of them. Maybe they lost some of them. Yeah, different set, of, different set of stuff, too, for some of them. JD calls with Jack Duke suited. Just loves to see some flops. Josh Harris came here to Ooh. see Doug get sucked out on. Why is he winning? Trips for JD. It is quite weird to see Doug winning, but the session's still young. Appreciate the love, Maxwell. We thank you for joining us. Ada Hart, love the name, Maxwell Smart. That's quite the flop Smart here for, for JD. Trips and the nine for Pierre, so. Pot only at 1.7. Uh, Brad should get in next week, and I'm not sure. 1,500 with trips. Yeah. Two pair for Pierre. He might get involved. He does. Yeah, not never folding for 1,500 here with a nine. Oh! Wow. Oh yeah, you would know about A blessing. Bigger boat. The river. Row, row, row your boat. Gently down the river for the Italian Stallion. This hand started off a little bit of nothing and turned into two boats. Part-time customer service rep at Bass Pro Shops. Full-time poker crusher, Pierre. Loving life as JD fire chips into the middle. 1.4, a little bit of a blocker type bet from JD. Probably imagining that Pierre definitely could have a nine. The Italian soccer fans are singing joyously. Wonder what Pierre is gonna make this. Probably something like 5,000? 5, 5,000 around that ballpark, maybe even a little less, maybe something like 4.5. And JD's gonna have a decision to make. If Pierre raises rather large, JD will have an easy fold. And Pierre's carving out plenty of bananas. Don't see JD coming along here with two's full. The bet is 10K. I think this is an easy fold for JD. What Pierre, Pierre does have all the diamond draws that missed. And Pierre, oh, nope. JD makes that call. Thought he would get away if a large raise came in from Pierre. But he calls it off. Max value from Pierre. It's that hand, $25,000 pot. It started off with JD calling with Jack Deuce. The four hundred dollars in the big blind. Surprised that JD called that off there after a large raise from Pierre. Now up at the top of the charts after that pot up fifteen thousand dollars. Pierre would be doing that perhaps with busted diamonds. That's about it. But and these boys are talking about the stand-up game. They might get that cooked. I'm like, wow. It was you and it was Terrace. You guys, you guys took a little breather in the stand-up. 2300 in the live chat and growing. Good hand there from Pierre. Gets lucky on the river and gets paid the maximum. Big raise from Jim. <laughs> after the game yesterday, after overtime ended, the boys played for a couple hours after. Ben racked up his chips. He was up close to 100000 well, left. That's really on him. Pierre that's came down to sit down in Ben's seat and got coolered aces versus kings, lost about 50000 Oh, my goodness. Pretty rough for Pierre, but now on the rebound. And, folks, if you want bonus poker, we have 2300 in the chat. We need 1500 likes. So the longer the cameras stay on, the more chances we have for a train wreck, and that's what we all want to see. While being entertained, are you not entertained? Hit that like button and let's stay a while. Thank you, Brian, appreciate that. Yeah, 
because of his. Well, he knew he was going to be Yeah, he knew he was going to be a small. King Deuce Deuce. Deuces are hot. Two pair for JD, two pair for Josh. But Nick is the one betting here with five high. Makes it 2,000 to go. JD going to keep him on his heads up to a turn. <laughs> There's another king. Hassan Sakauer. I love you, commentators. Hey, thank you. Shout out to you. Thought Nick would fire again on this turn, but decides to just check it on over. And he waves the white flag, surrenders, folds. JD with a little repake from that previous hand. So Beck's life, yeah, the, the we don't have really any control over when the stats show up on the screen. And here's waters for everybody. But so they should show up every five or seven hands or so. But unfortunately, we don't have control over the stats. Here's the stand-up game. Here's how you play it. All players stand up. If you win a pot, you get to take a seat. The last person standing has to pay a tax of $1,000 to each of the other six players. So you do not want to be the last person standing. Who do you think is going to be the last person standing? For a sandwich? For a sandwich, I will go We've got with two players each. I will go with Tennessee Chad. You pick one. Go with Josh. Josh has got a leg condition. Pierre. All right, I gotta confess. You know? I know. Oh come on, Skull Mike! Don't make bets when you know. That's not a good look. But I don't know who wins. I just knew they were playing the stand-up game, and I. I I couldn't, I couldn't do you dirty. Hearts for Nick with the redraw for the straight flush. Just wanted to get you excited. What a flop for Nick. He came with the full outfit. Ace of diamonds. Let us know in the chat who you think is going to be the last one standing for Max Payne and a $6,000 tax. Two pair for Josh, flush for Nick. Oh, damn. Six. Six thousand. Strong boot camp. We have to have a Texas uh, hat. Uh, oh, wow. Caveman says, totally yeah, introducing uh, yeah. Last Man Standing tonight. <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> it's a fun game. And Nick. It's spreading, yeah. too, around the entire country and world. I'm seeing a lot of stand-up games, seeing a lot of double board bomb pots. One leg and you can't switch legs. And that's been going down here in Texas for a while. We're going to get some medics out here. Nick takes a seat. Six remain. We are not pre-recorded here, Zach. This is live. We're on a half hour delay. We stream four times a week, folks. Monday, Wednesday. Friday and Saturday, starting at 3 p.m. Central Standard Time. On our way to 100,000 subscribers, so do us a favor and subscribe to the channel if you're new. And of course, say hello if you're new. We're very friendly here, along with the chat that we take so much pride in. Lots of positivity and good vibes from everybody here. Shout out to Error Eliminator, the Mayor, OC Breeze, Mike Lorberg. The Hugh Bleffner with all his bunnies and bluffs. Queens for Tennessee Chad. Doug here three betting with ace nine off. The stand-up game always does create extra action. What will Chad do here? Going for a four bet. Throws in three pieces of bubble gum. That's $15,000. Oh, you got a show too, don't you? Oh, it's going to be good. Seven three. Gonna show the ladies. <laughs> and no Tennessee Chad gets to take a seat. Look how sad Doug is. Chad is smiling, stacking his chips. Tennessee Chad just is he just fist has bumping, fun with life. Fist bumping his neighbors. Yeah, did good on that hand, didn't I, Nick? Huh? Huh? Feels good to sit down, right, Nick? Hey, Doug, uh, 
Your legs hurt? Need him a little massage? Perhaps a towel? Five players remain standing. Last person standing owes everyone else a thousand dollars. Nick calls. <laughs> Three ways to a flop. Queen, queen, king. What's up, Fadi from Lebanon, now watching and living in Dubai. Another queen here on the turn. It makes the call. Jack High in the lead, and now it is a boat. Queens full of jacks. Doug with six high. Nick wisely checks it on over. 6,000. I, I thought Nick would call already. He's laying it down, giving Doug credit for a king. Shows the bluff. Nick for 6,000. <laughs> and now Doug is <laughs> and Tennessee Chatter having some fun. Oh, it's good to be on the center side today. Oh, hello. Don't feel so bad against the king, but when he shows that, oh, you can take, take, the pass, take the patch off. <laughs> Thank you, Fadi. I'm so broken. Guys, guys, I don't need nothing. If you're not a fan of the stand-up game, stick around because it's only going to be about 15 minutes long. I thought you were so. going to say, too bad. No, I mean, no. just deal with it. You can't like everything. It just adds a little flavor, you know. <laughs> just trying to have a little fun. You can't argue the action that it creates. Doug just won a pot there with six high. I love it. Gets to sit down and fist bump his buddies. Don't do it. Don't do it. King, queen, four. A couple of hearts. JD on the hard draw. A pair of kings for Chad. A pair of fours for JD as well. And now it's two, two pairs. Pair. Sixes and fours on this turn card. Action board with two players involved. Chad sitting down. JD standing. Chad not going to let him off the hook easy. Spots, Holding like, top pair. Like, JD like, could be doing like, this very wide, just to try and yeah, take a seat. Like a yeah. To the river we go. JD still two pairs going to hold up. As long as he stays, he's not going anywhere. The small bet here he has some showdown value. Maybe he goes for about half pot, five thousand. Goes for two thousand. He likes these small bets on the river. It seems targeting a king or queen, I'd imagine, trying to get paid. And Chad looks a little perplexed here. He scratches one arm, touches the beard. So what did I get myself into? Now grabbing some chips. Looks like JD's going to get paid. Yeah, it's good. Take a seat, JD. Oh, yeah. JD gets to sit down. Stay a while. Now there's three remaining. Grab his chair. It's cozy. More importantly, the chips. You gotta keep them honest. I love it. I love it. Yes. Yeah, I would. Yes, you have to. Good luck, Alan. Thank you. Good luck, Alan. It's alright, it's alright. We take transfers. You can figure it out. Actually, you, I don't know what the quality is. Good luck, Alan. Pierre, Ginge, and Josh are the only ones standing. One of those three players. Bex Life with some medical advice in the chat. Thank you for that. He's not a doctor, but he plays one in Chatsville. Beck's life. 
and can cause pain. That's fine. <laughs> you know what else can cause pain? Bad beats. A deuce on the river. It's crazy how hard you root for the other guy. Oh. Or, <laughs> or, or a piece of hell. You, you, know, you have no incentive. Depending on how you look at it. Yeah, yep, there's and a nine the ball. The privacy of your own bathroom. Nick bets 2,000. Jim quickly calls. It's highly incentivized to keep it standing because it's good for you. Yeah. Uh-oh. Now Nick you. hit an eight for a pair. Ginge with the check mark. Likely to be the next one sitting. Those check check. And Ginge gets to sit down. So it'll either be Pierre or Josh giving $1,000 to each player. Because they are the last two standing. Now it becomes really interesting because if Josh folds, Pierre may want to go for the win and make some bets here. So here we go. Actually, Josh is going to be in position this, this hand. Got the adrenaline going a little bit? On the button. Maybe not my brain. Any good putts? Doug opens the action, Queen Stratum, Ten of brilliant. Spades. Oh, that was brilliant. Fear I had to do it, right? I gotta do it. Thank you. Thank you, Mike. I gotta call any two cards. <laughs> <laughs> King Queen. Fear will call. So does Ginch. With five six. <laughs> hey, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> awesome. <laughs> Ace-five tray, pair of fives for Ginch. Checked all the way around. Another ace. Pure going for it. Makes it 2,000. Come on. Josh is the biggest <laughs> fan <laughs> for somebody to call. <laughs> One fold. Oh, oh, God, go. oh, Two oh, folds. God. And Pierre <laughs> sits down. Josh is going to have to pay $1,000 to each and every player as a tax. There's one. You get a chip. You get a chip. Do we get a chip? You get a chip. I want a chip. I was thinking seven. And that, my friends, is what's up. Phil Homie style. Queen four. Great minds. Ouch. Do you invite him down? What's up? No, to the lodge. Uh, I haven't yet, but. Would you? No, I'm sure. I don't know if we're on like the best best terms right now. He doesn't like when I make videos on him. He's <laughs> so nice to him. Lodge Cam looking quite busy, folks. Yeah. This is my contact information on the screen. Like, oh, Plenty of open seats in whatever. June, yeah. some in late May. <laughs> All sorts of stakes. So if you want to play yeah. on the stream with Doug Pohl and a bunch of other famous Lodge YouTubers, message me. We got Brad and Andrew coming to town, Skull Mike Poker, Instagram, and Twitter. I respond to all messages eventually. Let's get you on stream, folks. Chad going to open up the action. All players seated now. Back to your regular scheduled programming. 2,500 in the live chat. King Queen off, 1K. 6-5 suited for Nick makes the call. How do you fold a five? I thought Doug had something. Well, sometimes I would have something. Yeah, 1K for sure in his pocket. Queen Jack 6, Skittles. What's up, Danielle? Thank you for that message. Uh, pair of queens for Pierre. Euros, man. My hand. My hand. Pair of queens and a, also same, same hand, hand for, Chad. for Tennessee Chad. And a 6 for Nick and Doug, so interesting. Made plenty of sense, so I would make sense. Uh, 
Ace of Hearts here on the turn. Not really a card that either player wanted to see. Action goes check, check. And an eight comes on the river. If Doug was still involved, he would have connected with two pair, but instead he's watching from the rail, the sidelines. Likely to go check, check here. Pierre checks. I don't see Chad going for value. Checks behind. Let's chop it up. Hey, that's a good hand. <laughs> Just doing business. We're friends, remember? <laughs> Kevin watching from Vancouver. How we doing, buddy? Thank you for tuning in. You can't play that. Song. Last I checked, we were sitting at 702 likes. We need eight, uh, 798 more in the next hour and 45 minutes. That'll qualify you for overtime. Like chat determines all of overtime. 2,400 people in chat, so we don't bluff. We'll turn the cameras off, but we don't really want to, folks. Help us out. Oh, yeah, yeah. My Working bad. on the weekend for y'all. Princess of V-Pip stumbles into the chat. How we doing, Nikia? Ginge, King Queen of Hearts, going to 3 bet to 4K. Go get him, Jimmy Bluffett. We appreciate everything you do. Good luck in the tourney. Hello, Princess. Well, I the Armand, happy anniversary to you. The bottle's already out, and I was like, guys. He's wearing the hat. He's wearing the hat. The hat. <laughs> Got the sponsorship. <laughs> I think it's going to really help his dream. Yeah. 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 I think having one drink in a week. <laughs> Doug. Raises it on up with King Queen offsuit to 6,000. And we'll take it down. Sam Irving tuning in from Scotland. Undisclosed hotel, Peter. Arnold says it's 11.45 p.m. in the Netherlands. Here doesn't even want his last name on this trip. Where do you live? Where are you staying? <laughs> Pierre doesn't even have a last name. Oh, he doesn't have one. Oh, sorry. Every document just says Pierre. Yeah. He doesn't have documents. What are the odds? What are the odds I'm not the only Pierre in the United States? Yeah, it's spelled my, the same way as me. Yeah, Mark, we're going to plan uh, more of the tag team cash games. They were very popular. We've done a few of them on the stream. So look for those in the future. 10 6 5. I bet there's not. Another one in the whole Oh, I'll take that there is one. I'll take under 10. I'll tell you what. I'll give you 10 to 1. I'll I'll pay you now. Can I have to find one? Yeah, okay. In the United States, spelled the same way as me. P e i e r. Ooh, United States. I'll pay you now, and then I have to find them. But once I find someone, you owe me, my, you owe me my money back, and then the wedding. Okay. What if it's like his name is like his name is like Pierre Luigi or something. <laughs> Yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna pay that front. Uh, here, here's your 100 million. Now let me go find the beer. <laughs> <laughs> That's a reasonable amount. Well, yeah, let's do it. Let's get a million. Here's the beer. Oh, there's another beer. I mean, change your name to the underscore. That's a point of fake character. Nobody's supposed to be like me. I mean, like in Thailand. And all these people. Good table talk today from the players. Yeah, you can always count on Doug to that, that, bring the energy. Really Doug's going to take down another pot. Uh, no. Yeah, I'll pass on. You get 10 to 1. That's pretty good. Okay. All right. There, there, there. It's, it could be so many times. I think he's holding on for 15 minutes. Oh, you know what? 
Beck's Brad Owen will be here next week. Uh, yeah, he'll be, I believe, he, on the 20th, but the meetup game is the 22nd with Brad, Andrew, and Doug. <laughs> Literally eight days from now, a week from tomorrow. They will have their meetup game right at the end of the inaugural Lodge Championship Series, which is just going crazy right now. Right now we're in the middle of the second Mystery Bounty Tournament. Tomorrow, another start of another 750K tournament. Six flights in that one. Two flights Sunday, Monday, and Tuesday. Five of diamonds. Doug's ace 10. Hard to get even. Take it out, Pierre. When you, when you Pierre's going to win that with the bet. situation yesterday where I bought him for a hundred and then I was on like 35 for a little while and I'm like man this fucking blows because if I double I'm still stuck a bunch <laughs> so then you like have to add on then you're like now I can get really stuck <laughs> there you go the 22nd Cheryl says is also uh, I lost the Lodge Championship Series ladies <laughs> event which is always a popular oh, yes, it is. tournament and I to play good, oh, yeah. good, good content bro. Yeah, great content. <laughs> a high roller like a main event Ladies event, still lots to go on the Lodge Championship Series through the 23rd of this month. It's been, been going on since the 4th. Ten days in. Sad part is I'm trying. If you missed the start of the show, Skull Mike is effectively, as of this moment, the chip leader headed into day two for the Mystery Bounty event. Who knows what will happen in today's flights, but as of right now, Skull off, Mike with the chip lead. First thing, they had to be able to take it, obviously, and that takes a little bit of time to develop. For us, it was like three times. And then the second thing is, they have to have the kind of personality where they're going to throw it back at you. And most people are just, like, too nice. Like, Josh is not going to say something where I'm like, fuck you, Josh. Or, like, Pierre. Yeah, Pierre maybe a little bit every now Ginge, I feel like once you get to know Ginge, I can see him really oh, yeah, firing yeah. out some shots. I could Ginge's definitely see him. There's like a few Jamesons in him. He's probably cursing up the I could see him firing out some shots. Like Neither one of these guys. I, like, I just can't imagine a world where I'm playing either one of you guys. Fuck off. But JG and, and JG. Joe just wants somebody to say fuck off to him. Am I, am I off base? Are you always yeah. playing that? Sure, we'll get to find out. <laughs> I just get this vibe that like once you like open up a little bit and people know you that you could be a little bit of a cannon. I just get a little bit of that vibe. Probably because of how you play poker. Okay, okay. Look at that smile. Maybe I'm not. Seems like a nice guy to me. Yeah. Trying to get reads on Maybe his opponents. Maybe I'm going to Alright guys, I'll shut up. <laughs> <laughs> A lot of folks wishing you there luck you in the day two. So there you go. I'm clipping that. Appreciate it, folks. I'll try not to blow it. I love that clip so much where he's just like, everyone needs Charlie Carroll's like, everyone needs to be positive and like have the right vibes and all this stuff. And then Doug needs to fuck off. Like, oh. <laughs> you said that? Charlie Carroll. 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 Sorry, Carroll. One of my favorite videos we did on YouTube was I analyzed one of his hands, but I, I had no interest in analyzing the hand. I just wanted to roast him. And so I, I made it look like I was analyzing his hand, but it's just me roasting the guy. That is funny. Like, now we take a flop, which is interesting because if you're Charlie, you really, and I just like go up and then there are people in the comments who are like, I don't understand. Why aren't we talking about the turn? Like, people are just like, really fucking confused. <laughs> Got the straddle on here, and Josh is going to juice it up to 1K. Suited ace 10 of hearts. I'm blocked by a good number. Tight fold there from JD, giving Josh some respect. He had 9 8 of diamonds. Thought JD would come along. I have a lot of respect for the guys that I've got a guy after a punch that had not blocked me. That's... Nick's going to defend the straddle with a suited diaper. Not a dirty one, but a suited one. Queen 8 7. Ace 10 still in the lead for Josh. Z-Bets and Nick Foles. 
Ooh, the other thing I love when people do, I love when people make videos like attacking me. They're like, Doug is like, and then they like. Yeah, Mike, I was actually a little worried like, about that. So the thing is, if someone if goes I, back for you, then it's just like, oh. If I accumulate a bunch of bounties, I don't want to go to the cage and think have people think it's rigged. But uh, usually what happens in bounty tournaments, if employees are in the tournament anywhere, I'm not allowed to pull the bounty. So we have to get a random person to pull the bounties for me. So to guarantee the, uh, the uh, authenticity, authenticity. authenticity of the the whole bounty scheme. DQ with the $99 super chat. Good luck to Skull Mike. Looking for 10 knockouts today by Mike. It's actually tomorrow, but yes. Then uh, bink the final table tomorrow and win the whole thing. Yeah, he's not playing today. He's going home to sleep after the stream. Yeah. Two pair for Ging. He's already in day two. Day two is tomorrow, and it all finished tomorrow. Late and early into Monday morning. Who's the one that goes like, at the end goes Maestro like, Matt Sweeney. <laughs> Poker player extraordinaire. Yeah, he's got the sickness. He calls himself not really a poker player. Then we're starting to get texts the following morning. Hey, guys, I won 100 on the one two tables last night. I'm sitting in the big blind with 9-8 suited. Thought you didn't know how to play, Maestro. Thank you again, DQ, for that super chat. The problem is casual poker audience does not like them. They do badly for viewership. Yeah, Paul, we're probably going to film, uh, stream the final table of the main event. So stay tuned for that. Rick and I will talk about it in the upcoming days. But if you like tournament poker, the main event, the $3,000 buy-in for the LCS, will be streamed that final table. How are we doing the Oh, yeah, it's ready. It's ready. It's ready. On to the next hand. Dre Dugan with five dollars super chat. Get the likes up to twelve hundred guys. Likes are free. Let's go. Dre Dugan. No, any all the super chats are greatly appreciated. Obviously, DQ is the king of super chats. Very generous and uh, look. It's a way for me and Skull to uh, get a little tip, you know, every now and then. And we appreciate everybody who does that. Ace of hearts. Lisa gives us the river. There's the six ball. And the queen jack, as long as he stays in, the Tennessee Chad is going to make a play at it. And take it down. Got the posture police in the chat. Haven't seen that in a while. But they're out there, Rick. Jack 10 of clubs for Doug makes it 1K to go. Quack, quack for Nick. We haven't played very much. Eight high flop, five and a four. The Ducks in the lead. Goes check, check, and now a jack for Doug. A sneaky check, trying to induce a bet from Nick, not falling for a two pair for both. Doug going to go for some value here. Let's see if Nick gets away. I think it's going to be hard to get away if you are Nick. 
1800 and Nick wasting no time. We'll make the call and see the bad news. Final table of the LCS will be on May 24th. Yes. So on that week, we will stream the final table of the main event, but on Tuesday. But we will not have a stream, a regular stream on Wednesday. So that schedule will be Monday, Tuesday, Friday, and Saturday, the week of the 24th. The old eight six of diamonds. And we're still working on a final, a confirmed day for the Jungle Man Doug heads up matchup. It's going to happen. We're just waiting on a day from Jungle Man. It's not going to get stacked here. And then I have to do content on YouTube about it. All right, guys, here what I'm thinking is like, fuck, I'm stuck. Maybe I can get there. Oh, God, I have the backdoor frustra. Oh, no, no, I've got eight high. Yeah, this is some pretty professional stuff here for me. Oh, God. I had a backdoor flush draw. A little, little something. An ace cracking. Yeah, he wasn't very good. Backdoor flush draw in disrespect. He doesn't need anything else. I probably could have slowed down a little on that one. Somewhere. I'm sure he was saying that. I'm sure he was saying that. Oh, man. 2300 in a live chat. On to the next hand. $400 straddle. Shout out to Romania in the chat. 10-9 of spades for Chad, Queen-9 of diamonds for Josh. Both suited here. And it's a Skittles flop, 6-4-3. So like easy to bluff. Just because you're like, this is the worst thing I can ever have. And so like, and I have no crazy to bore. I, I don't miss flush. I have nothing to block. TQ with the $99 Trooper Cat. This one is for Logan Mueller. So he knows we appreciate him watching the Lodge live stream. Under the lights. And the Super Chats are my way of thanking Rick and Mike for all they do to make this stream amazing. Hot dogs in the shoes, Ricky. Really? Ah, And $20 from John. Just sent y'all my info for the live stream. Trust me, you want the Mr. Dr. Batman action. Mr. Dr. Batman. That's quite the name. John, I will get back to you, buddy. Can't do it midstream, but I check all my messages 24 to 48 hours after a stream, and we'll be in touch. Zhu Zhang, yeah, stick around. If you in our new studio we're building next door, we will have total control over lighting, audio, cameras, we, and you will see player uh, mic'd and the best quality possible. In a few months, but for the next few months, we're right here on our temporary setup, which we think is just dandy. But the best is just just yet to come for the Lodge Live. We've got a hand here brewing. Jin makes it. Uh, Jin makes it twelve hundred. Doug big slick from the small blinds going to three bet this to six k. Nick folds the queen 10, so some of Ginge's outs are dead, but in position against Doug, wastes no time, makes the call, 9-6-6 six, six flop, ace high versus queen high. Doug will like that flop, has the nut advantage, has all of the superior holdings in his range, fires in a C bet, about one third pot, 4.2, Ginge, Sticky like that bazooka gum on the bottom of your sneakers makes the call three of hearts on the turn. Still ace high versus king high. Will Doug fire the double barrel? Might be a little alarmed after getting called on the flop by Ginge. 21K in the middle.
Doug will take it down with a big bet there. Nice bet from Doug. Doug, our big winner so far, up 17.8. Pierre having a good afternoon. Josh stuck again, 37,000. That's a rough two weeks for Josh. But the stream is still early, folks. Five o'clock, if you want bonus poker, you know what you gotta do. Just do it quietly. Don't disturb anybody. Turn out that chat, hit that like button, come back in, say hello. And watch more poker from the Lodge live stream. Located in Round Rock. Also known as Austin. Thank you, Jason. There's the Lodge Cam. Got a little glimpse of the cash games going on right now at the Lodge Mahal. Big tournament still going on, too. 82 tables makes it the fifth largest poker room on the planet. And with our addition to the Champions Room, where our live stream studio is being built, we're going we're gonna to boost it up to the fourth largest poker room on the planet in just a few months. Chris wants to know who are the pros and who are the wrecks. JD is a semi-pro in the two seat, has a full-time job, plays high stakes poker pretty regularly. Pierre is a professional in the three seat. Ginge would call himself a professional there in the four seat. Doug calls himself a businessman nowadays. Chad, a recreational player. Nick, also a businessman, rounding out the table. So a nice mix of players and professionals at the table. I've enjoyed watching them the past two days, and I hope all 2,300 of you guys in the chat have enjoyed it as well. Yeah, I, Nick and JD, tremendous, tremendous action players in the last 27 hours or so that we've gotten to see them in two different streams. Hugh Bleffner with a great question. Who are the chat pros and who are the chat rex? That's what we want, all want to know. Multi-way pot here brewing. Ginge, Queen Jack, a pair of fives for Doug. And almost Queens everybody for Ginge. Yeah, Ginge gets top pair here. Not much going on for the other opponents. We induce a fold. Do we have a scandal video on it? He folds out a turn, pounds the table. Open ender now for Doug. Wheel draw for Tennessee Chad and still the Queens. For Jinch. Pierre going to take a stab at it. Thanks for that comment, Joseph. We appreciate that and we appreciate you watching. Very nice of you to say, Joseph. Nice pot there for Ginge. Multi way collects himself 15.3. This is real money, folks. Not a tournament structure. We are playing for cash money. Ibs, thanks for subscribing. Straight cash, homie. Yeah, we Who said that. We had about 427,000 on the table to start the game. Uh, I had ace, deuce, and spades. So. I had pocket five. So, so I'm thinking of a set. I, I, I felt pocket five set. Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> oh, well, you, you thought about the bonus. I was like, I want to do something. Yeah, that was a pocket five, for sure. Yeah. Just got it. Right. Yeah. Close the stream hands. He's like, I can't put five bucks. If you had folded, I, I might have raised it. Yeah. Here, you were, you were, you were getting into the turkey. Honestly, yeah. <laughs> he ended up on straw. Someone was going to give you some action
<laughs> always, always. You look at this line up, and you're like, no, these guys are going to pull it. These guys are just going to let this go. Like, you know, good, nothing? Nothing. What? You fired him? Yeah, he's king hot. Oh, my okay. lord. Oh, you guys have everything. Yeah, he can't do this thing. What a bet. If you guys are that good, then he can't have shit. What a bet. Ace for Chad here. Nick not going to chase Broadway with three clubs on board. Chad takes it down. <laughs> this boy's not doing work to that alcohol yet. A little early for them. Three Schwer, bottles by Chad. Schwer, the commentators are Slick Rick, Skull Mike have been since day one of our little show about a year and a half ago we Thank started you. this yep. thanks for tuning in don't forget to subscribe to the channel they're both tomorrow i think that the bucks ones at 2:30 and the sun ones at 7 i think this every Should i start giving this to you ice game Rumor has it that you could go to Chat Pro University and the professor is Nick from Yuma. Is that a two or four year course? <laughs> it is a, an associate's degree. It's a two year course. How many streams do you need to watch in order to be qualified? Well, to get to get the associate's degree, 100 streams, and you must have at least a dozen funny chats a month. Can you guarantee about a 50 to 60K salary upon graduating? No. No? Cannot do that. But Nick from Yuma, Professor Yuma at Chat Pro University, somewhere near the Mohegan Sun. I know, like, man, you gotta respect it. He's always firing. He's like, a all that. And he's like, looking at the table. And then I'm like, oh shit, like, if he's bumping here, this is a pretty bad look. Pretty poor form on my board. And the guy folded and he got the bump with you. Yeah, what's up? When somebody jams the river, you should probably get to shut the fuck up on the peanut gallery. Especially with like the, the call inducing comments. Like, what do you do? I don't feel bad at this other. Luckily, it works. Yeah. You almost cost them like, I don't know, 30K. Greg, we take zero money off the table, zero rake. This is a social club, and members pay hourly when they check out. So it's $10 I, an I hour. You I'm pay like, for five hours. When you check out, you're going to owe the, the house $50 up at the front. 1,000 raise yeah, here from Doug. Nine, six of hearts. Starting to get after it. Has a stack close to 120,000. If the, if the bar is... Eight, six, four. Pair of sixes for both players. <laughs> Four hearts here, so doesn't change much. Goes check, check. And we're going to chop this one up. Chop, chop. Chris, we accept credit cards up at the front. You don't need to pay in cash. Well, I mean, you know, you, and if you, don't, if you don't pay your tab, you get banned from the club well, and you're yeah, never allowed yeah. back. One of the great questions is, what happens if you go busto and you, I, I you're really leaving the club? Like, yeah, they I take credit know, cards. <laughs> you have to wash dishes in the back yeah. until your bill is paid. Can't leave until you clean three toilets. <laughs> I'm just trained into it from the crowd. So, like, could shine my shoes during a stream. Just take it when you want. Like, relax. Don't worry about it. But then, when there's a guy in the game that you want to play with, you're like, all right. Play as many hands as you can. Overall, the the regs in Texas are very respectful. Like, very respectful of, like, not being, like, a big tank in the U.S. Ace nine versus Jack ten here. JD raises to a thousand. Pierre does not elect the three bet there, makes the call. 
Ace queen for Chad from the small blind here. Let's see if he wants to three bet this. Reaching for some bubble gum. New price is 5,300. A nice raise from Chad from the small blind here. Trying to thin down the field and perhaps go heads up. Much rather go heads up than multi way with ace queen out of position. Peyton, it's only when you're playing. If you're waiting for a table, which hardly ever happens because we have so many dealers and tables, but if you are waiting, you're not paying until you actually dealt into a hand. Both players fold, respecting Chad's raise. He's got that tight image working for him so far this afternoon. But when people just go into like the like, thank you, DQ. The intro. Our crack staff at Lodge Worldwide Headquarters did the intro to our show. A little take on The Office. I still love watching it. Kings for Ginge. I think if it's like... A big river spot, or it's like maybe like a weird turn check raise spot, or whatever. I think taking JD forward. in the straddle, the last line or of defense will defend, makes the call the dominated team. against Ginge. To the flop we go, hearts and really hearts river only. Spot, Running G sevens, no. Oh Setty McGetty for Ginge. I, I can't do that. Well, Case mean, King on this flop. Wow, okay. <laughs> <laughs> Ginge not yeah, slow playing time. anything, <laughs> hoping and praying that JD has a piece of this board. And he does have a piece, makes the call. Another ace on this turn, so row, row, row your boat gently down the turn. All right, I'll, I'll get off the high horse. I'm not ironing my own turn, so I I already knew you're not <laughs> Interesting board here for JD, kings and aces. With the jack kicker, perhaps thinking that he's calling for a chop. Unlikely that Jin has an ace after another ace peels. But wisely and correctly lays it down. JD gets his hands out of the cookie jar. Doug up at the top of the charge. 17.6. Jin, 13.1. There's many hotels near the lodge. Probably a hundred within a five mile radius. You just want to look for North Austin or Round Rock. You can choose, but we've got four or five on our website with a special deal that they've created for lodge players. You'd fly into Austin Berkstrom International Airport, get in an Uber or taxi and tell them you want to go to the lodge. It's about a 25 minute drive depending on traffic. All you got to do is become a member. We take weekly, monthly, or annual membership fees. And then once you're a member, you can play cash, $10 an hour. Tournaments are a little different. Tournaments, you pay a door fee and the buy-in. You do not pay an hourly fee, obviously, for tournaments. There's the lodge cam showing some different tables. In the back half. On to the next hand. Yep, the winnings are just from today's session. Same with those V pips. Everybody pretty even. Doug raises to a thousand. Nobody getting touched up too proper. Josh has lost a few pots here and there. Lisa doing a fantastic job in the box. Nice to see her back and strong. <laughs> yeah, I talked to her last week, and she said, uh, I'm ready to deal on the stream again. I'm going to change my shift because she's normal a, mor a morning person. She has the morning shift, but she said, I want to deal on the stream again. Poobah worked it out, so she got this shift. Smart move on her part. <laughs> Chad's going to raise it on up here. He's been pushing the action on top of the VPIP scale. He's had 
the best of it. It's the hot seat. It was the hot seat yesterday, and it's the hot seat again this afternoon. Every time Doug's in the straddle, Chad is pushing the action. Queen high flop. Ace high in the lead. Does not want to see bet. Now Doug connects with his pair of fives. As does Chad. Has him out pipped by just a little bit. Check call from Doug. And Chad's going to win this one with his pair of fives. Unlikely to bet. Or does he think he needs to turn his phone up? He surrenders. Perfectly. <laughs> Maximum value. Fantasy Chad. Chad and Doug forming a small mini bromance. Thank you. It's hard when people are just attacking the big one. Yeah, he's, he's just It's yeah. hard yeah. not to yeah, just yeah, like yeah. Tennessee Chad right, there. Sure. If you want to play on the Lodge Live, yeah. Jack there's how you do it, folks. Get in touch yeah, with no Skull Mike. Yeah. Yeah. I remember actually really or early go on, like, directly to the lodgepokerclub.com slash live stream and like, fill out the questionnaire. The source. Like, what the hell is this? And he's like, oh, go straight to the deal. source. So, so the first time yeah. Yeah. Uh, that I read. Like, uh, Folks, we're going to have a great lineup of games this week, streaming Monday, like, Wednesday, well, Friday, and Saturday. Kitty Ko will be in the mix. Mariano, Boston Jimmy, Seti the Poker Traveler, amongst others. So you're going to want to tune in each and every stream. Best way to do so if you are a subscriber to the channel. It's like four new students under the gun. You can still raise it because they're going to respect the fact that you're under the gun. That was a logic. You know who we used to play like that actually? An online A6-3 Skittle. Pair of six for Pierre. The guy raised... He raised... The same RFI in every position from the start all the way to the day that RFI same every spot. Wow. And a weird game started to happen where he'd open early position, all the regs would be like three back, and then everyone would be like, there were some great hands. Because you notice the guy under the gun is raised the same as the button. Like, well, maybe he's raising less on the button. I think he was pretty consistent. Yeah, button raising everything. Pierce is going to show the sixes. Rachel watching from Arizona. Oh, Hello, Rachel. <laughs> Glad to have you today. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Nice, man. You guys, should we, should we just, next time you raise it, should we all just fold? Let's give it a walk. 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 On the saddle? No, no. Give it a walk on the saddle. I want to go zero. Nice yeah, you don't want me to do an over. Oh, you do want an over. Over whatever you're It's like when you, it's like a batting round. Kind of bats. Over 10. Over 15. Let's go, Let's go. All right, let's see. Wait out, wait out. Wait out. Wait out. Doug is going to go. Three bet to 6K with yeah, pocket fast sevens. play the sevens here. Chad, big slick. Conversation tones down. Poker face heating up here. Looking more serious. Will Chad fire in a four bet? Or will he just flat the 6K? He's going to raise it on up. Four bet. He's going to four bet Doug. 14,000. Not what Doug was expecting here. Probably thinking he could be crushed or at best case scenario flipping, but I imagine Doug probably putting Chaz on eights plus here. Will he get away right here or will he provide some action or content as he likes to call it? Doug not afraid, but four bet speaks volume from Chad here. How's Doug gonna play this one? He's going to get away. Can't fault Doug there for folding. He's going to lay it down. Lays it down. Chad could easily have eights plus here. Shows him the ace king. Best case scenario for Doug. Doug a little disappointed when he sees that. Yeah, let's see the flop. Why not? Okay. Okay. Yeah. 
Want to see, see the, the flop flop. from the sky cam, the sky box? Do we see any paint there? Hard to see. I see two paints. Can't, oh, ooh, Dougie. Good fold there for Doug. Chad would have connected. And that is probably the only rabbit hunt you will ever see at the lodge. I don't know about that. We might see another one. Don't see them too much. They slow down the game when you're playing time, but this is a private game. It's a stream game. Running on table 11. Under the lights! There you go. You're falling asleep a little bit there. I'm not. I'm wide awake. You're the one who was up till 4.30. 5.30. <laughs> I'm not tired. I'm not leaving. Where are we at on our likes, Rick? Okay. Step out of chat. Let me know. Really annoying spot. Two, four, in the chat. Let's see where we are. We are sitting at 977, so we're about 523 away with go, folks. an hour and eight minutes to go. Let's get over 1,000 right now. If you've not smashed that like button, please, please. It's very easy to do so. Do it right now. Let's get over 1,000 and close to 1,500 as soon as possible. <laughs> Deuce tray four. Straight draw for Nick. Doug with Jack High in the backdoor flush opportunity. Makes it 1,500. It says, I got an ace. I got a straight draw. Got some over cards. Also in the big blind could represent a four if he chooses to do so. Not really the turn card that Doug wanted to see. Will he slow down? Hard for him to have four right here on the button. Loses his backdoor equity, but he's still firing here. A rather large bet going to apply pressure here, represent a strong holding, and Nick will surrender. On to the next hand here, 520. Anybody got any plans tonight in the chat? Any hot dates for some of our famous chat pros? You ever do any online dating, Rick? No. I've been married 31 years coming up here. <laughs> Internet wasn't even around. So I, it wasn't. You had to do it the old-fashioned way, huh? You actually had to meet people and call people on the telephone. I'll tell you a story after this hand about the Internet. Ah, I thought you were going to tell me something. Rick's story time. I thought you were going to tell me how to pick up chicks. I was like, save it, Rick. I don't, I don't need to hear from you. All right, fire away. So there you go. Josh wins a hand and the crowd goes wild. So, little story in 1990, Slick Rick was traveling up to Reunion Arena to see the Longhorns play in the Sweet 16 Where's basketball Re Where's tournament. Reunion Arena? Dallas. They were playing Xavier. And, uh, and then Arkansas in the Elite Eight. But, anyways, I'm staying with a friend. He's got a computer in his kitchen. I go, well, that's, that's odd, 1990. What, what are you doing there? He goes, I'm, I'm playing chess with a guy in Michigan. I said, what is that? He said, there's this company called CompuServe, and it's, it's called the Internet. And uh, I said, who on earth would ever need that? True story, 1990. So basically don't listen to anything that you have to say. I just you, didn't feel you that, never get in that was ever going to be needed. Did you have a Bitcoin opportunity to very, yes, very early yes, on? Yes, But instead you're sitting here with me. Yes. And True. the year is 2022. Yep. Four of clubs. True story, though. Internet is the greatest invention of all time. Doug here going for it. Ace, queen. It's the best of it. Going for a little value. 800. What is the greatest invention of all time? Is it the internet? Is it the telephone? Is it the automobile? The airplane? I'd have electricity? To, I'd have to say, well, electricity trumps all of because what we, you said. Because, because without that, you can't have any of the things I just mentioned? Yes. But I have to say the computer. 
The computer is so the internet. Not just the computer. The internet is, is your vote. Wonder what the chat has to say about that. I'm sure we're going to see a lot of internet's comments in the chat. Airplane's pretty sweet though. Or a rocket ship to the moon, like the kids say. To the moon. <laughs> Deck of cards? That is a wise comment. And perhaps poker is the greatest invention of all time. Okay. Get your tips all pre tipped up. I think about 350 on that first card coming out in the first hole. I appreciate it. Air conditioner, yeah, especially living in Texas, we need that. King Queen for Josh, three best at 3.5. Nick makes the call, and what a flop here for Nick. Flops the entire world. Josh looking for a 10. Probably thinks his king or queen would be good too, but we know that's not the case. And Nick not slow playing anything. Goes for the check raise immediately. 6,000 is the new price. Josh makes the call here. So Rick, pot brewing. 20K in the Oh, and there's, there's the 10. 10. The 10 for Josh. He needs it. He's been running so, so bad the past week. Two straights now. Not the card that Nick wanted to see. Josh, the moment he's been waiting for all afternoon. Can he capitalize? Goes for half pot, 10K. Milky. And Nick lays it down. A great lay down. Excellent lay down from Nick, and Josh shows it. Nick's going to feel pretty good about himself right there. Getting away, losing the minimum. Josh is heating up, now only down 28,000. Pierre leading the way, 14,000 winning. Tennessee Chad up 13-7. Doug Polk, 13-3. And Ginge up 13-2. Phil will relieve Lisa. Great job, Lisa. Wow, the Lisa Phil combo. That's that's a good starting rotation and a good bullpen right there. Horseshoe Phil steps in the box. Alicia says the wheel, and it's not even close. Alicia Kramer has best invention ever. Got it. See ya, Kai. Come back really soon. We love everybody. Not King Kai. He's on the shit list. <laughs> you can play that back up there in clean Harker Heights. The shit list. Oh, man, I thought he wanted to win the words. I wanted to say the words. Oh, yeah, what are you doing? <laughs> R.L. Stanton flying the Texas flag as usual, saying the Texas barbecue is the best invention. Barbecue sounds pretty good right now. A little brisket sandwich. It's dinner time, folks. 5.30. You know we talk food around 5.30. On to the next hand. Horseshoe Phil. Folks, the final flight of the mystery bounty, $1 million guaranteed with a grand prize of a 100K mystery bounty being pulled tomorrow. The last flight begins right now. So come on down to the lodge tonight and get in on the action. Registration open for a couple more hours. You could be the one battling with me, Manana. Ace King versus Ace Queen here. JD three bets, 3.5. Nick opened the action and now 
we have Doug deciding what to do. Likely going to fire in a four bet here from the big blind. Might make this something along the lines of 10,000. Goes for 11.5. JD in position, suited ace queen. Do not see him folding right here. He's gonna have to peel and at least see the flop in position. Although ace queen could be dominated so many different ways facing a four bet from Doug, but Doug could be doing this light too. JD not afraid in position, eyeing up Doug's stack. I imagine he'll flat here and then we'll go to the flop. <laughs> Makes the call. Heads up. Big Slick versus Ace Queen. Doug in good shape here. Pot at 24.5. Needs to. Oh, and the Queen Ooh, right and the there king. in the window, but the King behind it. Fortunate for Doug. What is he going to make this pot here? Probably go for like one third. Maybe go for about seven to eight K here. I think we'll see something like seven, eight. Goes for six. Right along those lines here. JD backdoor spades. Backdoor Broadway with a pair of queens. He's gonna have to make this call. Don't see him going anywhere. Pot will be at about $36,000 to the turn we go. Another spade. So that's the popcorn in your microwave popping right now. Big pot energy, 36.5. And Doug is going to continue to fire. What will he make this bet right now? JD with 54,000 behind. What will Doug make? this. I'm not quite sure what he's going to do here. Maybe 18,000, something like that. Interesting spot right here on the turn, 36.5. JD has about 54,000 behind. Doug has everybody covered. A lot of chips coming in. Fourteen thousand two hundred. Fourteen thousand. Pot had now has fifty in the middle here. Stack to pot ratio close to one v one right now for JD. Just a little over the pot at fifty four thousand. Drawing to the nuts. Might elect to even rip this as a semi-bluff or take the conservative route in flatting and seeing what develops on the river. But you can definitely see a raise potentially in play for JD. Both these gentlemen locked in. One of the most exciting hands of the afternoon so far. JD reaching for chips, eyeing up his stack, doing a little inventory. Table is quiet, respecting these two gentlemen. They've earned it. And the chat has earned it too in seeing a big pot as JD reaches for chips, makes the call. 65,000 in the middle. JD needs some assistance. A spade or a queen. One time only. Doug and is going to hang on here. Doug's going to win this pot, never folding. Will he rip it? All you can eat. Don't see JD calling if a shove comes in here. Doug Brady made it what? He made it 16,000 on the turn, 65,000 in the middle. JD with a lot. I think, I think Doug's going to end up ripping it here. It is only one pair. The Jack 10 gets there, perhaps. If JD was on a draw there, the straight does get through. But Doug All rips in. it. Not afraid is Doug, and I don't see JD calling off 40,000 here with a pair of queens. It's unfortunate for him. He's invested a lot of money in this pot, but for $40,000, if that stack is 
correct, which I believe it's, it's pretty close to correct. I think I have some, some bubblegum chips right next to that Tower of Banana. JD hates his life, but I think these two cards will end up going into the muck. Nice hand from Doug. He is our big winner so far today. We know he's not losing this pot. Of course, JD wishing a spade fall wants to have nuts, but that's not the case. It's second pair. And he's in the summertime blender. trying to figure out what bluff is he beating. Can the queen potentially be a bluff catcher? Blocking all the flush draws that Doug could potentially have. Not blocking the jack 10. Doug could easily have a king here. That's what he has. What does the chat think? We think we're seeing a call here. A punt, perhaps? Or will JD lay it down? What do you think, Ray? I think he's laying it down. I think he's laying it down. I thought JD was laying it down yesterday in one hand versus Nick, and then he shifted it all in and lost himself $50,000. He lays it down. Nice fold, JD. And nice Doug, hand by Doug. Yeah, Doug wins a monster. Should be up about 48000 now. <laughs> He started the day off with 100K in his stack. There you go, up 46.8 thousand. JD now at the bottom of the chart, stuck 30,000. And for those people at home, Slick Rick has Doug as the person. We know. Where'd you, where'd you put my... I don't know. It's your piece of paper. You keep track of your own pieces of paper. I'm not your secretary. There we go. I got it. You waited to see? Yeah, yeah, waited to see. Extra sweat. Oh, extra sweat. Don't egg him on, Maestro Matt Sweeney. But when you jam river and then you just get like the snap. Pocket six is here for Josh. just like, wait, wait two seconds. Like Makes it 1,000. Oh, it's there. Oh, call it. And then I'm just like... Josh is going to win another yeah, hand. Taking a look at all of those chips. Must be nice. The Tower of Bubblegum, also known as Big League Chew. Take a look at the back half of the Round Rock Room, the Lodge Mahal Pack. That's the mystery bounty, folks. People getting into the action here. Uh, Johnny Fingers, uh, Garrett is welcome anytime. Doug and Garrett are friends, so who knows what will happen. We'd love to have him, obviously. Race to 1,000. I appreciate it. Race it's up to, to him. 1, I consider ripping the turn. Queens for Ginge. 3.5 to go. JD has ace queen, so a rough afternoon getting a little bit more sour for JD. Gets three bet one more time with the same holding. This time it's not even suited. And he's out of position. Lays it down. Five forty in the PM. We've been on for two hours and forty minutes. We got another fifty minutes before we cut the overtime number or count the overtime number to see if we, in fact, chat win it over. I mean, it's eleven hundred, so we need four hundred more likes in the next fifty minutes. Five zero. Oh, you can be a different number. Like actually, dealer cut the deck. I've been talking to Charlie, so, you know, a whole different timeline. Oh. Got a card coming apart. Oh, I see. Oh. Uh, 
Maybe we should go to dinner with Chad tonight. Yeah, I'm out. I'm out. Yeah. It'll be fun. I'm up. Whoa! I'm down for that Brazilian steakhouse. I think he, he had that last night. Oh, I don't good. think he's going to do that's it two nights in a row. That's pretty damn good. Yeah, I can see it. Give me a space I'm going to need, please. Yeah, the other one's a 10 hour damn blast, JD. Mountain Dew Skittles in the chat. No, not quite sure what our masseuse is doing in the background there. Trying to get a little camera time. Does she know that we're on air? Shout out to the masseuse. Just trying to get a little FaceTime, right? A lot of good things. Wandering through the set. Playing with her. What is she doing with that bracelet? I, I mean, she's just taking a stroll right through the set. Want to play on the Lodge live stream? We love the masseuses here at the Lodge. Shout out Alexa. Christina. All the fine people who do that. Those are the only two masseuses you actually know on a first day no, basis. I know. I, Look at I know. little TM over here. Maybe we should bring TM in, though. He's playing in the tourney. TM, take a look right outside the bunker. Nice. Yeah. Yeah. It's called my poker, folks. Twitter or Instagram. <laughs> you want to play? I'll make it happen. It's a fair overtime goal, Princess of Epic, when you have 2,500 plus in the chat. 1,000 likes, less than that is where we need to be. Pocket tens for Tennessee Chad. 1K to go, seems to be the standard open. Pierre, tired of playing passively this afternoon, is going to three bet from the straddle, ace nine of spades. Time to get after it. Sometimes in a session, you can't just wait around for premiums. You got to start making some moves. And Pierre's going for it here. Wants to play pots versus Chad. We saw Chad full tens to aggression yesterday. That was for his entire stack. Folds tens again, so Chad doesn't really like playing tens too much. This time he was in position. It wasn't for his entire stack. Would have liked him seeing uh, him peel there and at least see three cards and then reevaluate on the flop, but not willing to play pots with Pierre. Pierre has a tight image this afternoon. Hasn't really gotten out of line once, so Chad gives him some credit there and lays it down. Phil's ear is gonna hurt. He's gotta move that headset. That hurts my ear. <laughs> Over his right ear. You know whose ear really, really hurts? Who's that? Evander Holyfield. Yes. Not too soon. A couple no. years have passed. That's oh, fair game. Many years have passed. Remember that night very well. Nice to see that we have Iron Mike as part of the squad now. Yeah. Just telling everybody, he bit his ear. No, no, he didn't. He didn't. I don't he did it again. <laughs> what are you doing? I don't remember watching that live. Ace King for oh, Doug. Doug with Ace King. Grabs for Nick. Nick was the one who raised it to 2.5. Well, Doug, yeah. Doug, Doug's starting to feel it. Starting to wake up with some premiums. He knows what to do with Big Slick. 11,000 to go. Does Nick want to go set mining? In position. He's going to lay it Nick, very solid player. Was the huge winner last night's stream. He's fighting. He's fighting today. He's going to get it back. Doug is stacking the chips, trying to get back what he lost yesterday. Easy session so far for uh, Doug. Not many uh, tough spots, so most of the time he's had it. Easy to play poker when you're waking up with the goods. Don't see many of the Doug trolls in the chat today saying, oh, he's washed up. Oh, he's trash. Why is he playing these low stakes? Not low stakes. Uncapped buy-in. Doug's feeling himself. Having a good afternoon session. King nine deuce. Ace high in the lead. Takes it down. Top ten starting hands. I came in with a list. It said, "Okay, play these." 
Yeah, it's been working. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Went back to basics. Five, four hundred. We have a live eight hundred. Eight hundred. Double strudel from Nick. Might play the stand-up game again. Yeah. Mark H. Thank you, Fortune. You guys want to take the... Damn, Josh gets to open. <laughs> Make yeah, Doug's hair, fantastic, I've never played huh? Short yeah, yeah, he no, sees no, a style. That, that's that's what he hair. said, not me. I, don't, I, don't I see a barber. And oh, Rick, you probably cut your, your own hair in your bathroom with, with scissors. With a flobie. <laughs> like, with a what? <laughs> a a flobie? <laughs> you, you, you don't remember the infomercial? It's the, a little, little uh, scissors with a vacuum. Oh, Look it up on the internet. <laughs> Scissors with a vacuum? You'll see it. It's a, it's a, not a very good game, right? People out there know what the Floby is. Four ways to a flop. Ace, four, five. Wheel draw for Doug. A Floby? Yes. Kids, we would play short back, oh. five card draw. I feel like the juice yeah. is coming for Doug. Yeah. Oh, he sticks like around. No, Princess, I do not use the flow wheat. Yeah. I go to cost cutters, they're a client of mine. Shout out, cost cutters. Yes, it was the hair vacuum. A little vacuum with little shears on it. Yeah, and they don't offer that anymore, right? Because it's a terrible idea. It was on late night TV. It made it look so easy to cut your own hair. That's why you have a bald spot in the back of your head. I don't. I, don't. I have a full head of hair, but. Wait till you're 55 and come talk to me. My hair is beautiful. My hair is beautiful, full thickness. Come talk to me when you're 55. You're still going to be alive at, at that point in time? You bet your sweet ass I am. You're going to be haunting your dreams for the rest of your life. <laughs> Matt beats on the river for eternity. Yes. Heads up between Nick and Josh. Nick with... 3-4 of diamonds, ace-queen-8, two-pair for Josh. 16, 1,600. Josh starting to heat up here, but Nick cannot continue. Yoda, don't, don't make Skull's head even bigger than it is. Yeah, I have to deal with this stack, so I'll, yeah. Princess yeah. of E-Pip says Poobah has the best hair at the lodge, but again, she's biased. She's, she's biased. I get it, I get it. You did? Yeah. On the next hand is Doug and Tennessee Chad. Oh, they're back. No rush, sir. No rush, no rush. You spoiled me yesterday with the good tequila. Oh, yeah. Race to back for more. Yeah, we're going. He's for a diamonds. 1K, oh, the oh. standard open this afternoon when the straddle's been on. Oh. 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 And everybody oh. lays it on down. JD's going to win that hand. <laughs> Kai enters the Chadsville. Kai, this is a television show, man. We need you here. We love you, though. King Kai is in the chat. Did you get word? He is in the chat. Sorry I couldn't make it. Bad beat and blowout. Show a picture of the blowout. Text yeah, call Mike a picture of the blowout. Next thing, next thing you know, we're going to get a text from King Kai saying his dog ate his homework. King Kai is six feet deep into a vat of hot and sour soup. 
two strikes for King Kai. You know what happens on yeah. the third strike. I mean, King Kai. <laughs> I might need to send him to poker detention so we can think about what he's done. I thought this was going to happen in our hand. Remember, they like bluffed off like 35k. And literally the next hand we hit was 17. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I was like, yeah. You need triple 100 to go? I was supposed to pull it for you. Yes, sir. We'll get, there's some white in that thing. Frame out. Fold. Fold. Raise to 1,000. 1,000 is raised from Nick. Queen six of spades. It's a lot of online poker. Some like lifestyle stuff like Thailand and the Philippines. Call it 1,000. I'm gonna maybe vlog like while I'm here. And, uh, but I gotta be careful, man. Because I'm, I gotta message the eight, eight, nine. guys saying, hey, if you're gonna just like shout out about making the poker. Ace still in the lead. We don't want you in our games anymore. So much. What is like, if people don't want to play with you, then you get a poker, then you can't. Thank you, Mitchell. Come on down from Albuquerque. When you get here, ask for Rick and Skull, and we will take care of some of your game time. Yeah. Bring Walter White and Saul Goodman with you coming from Albuquerque. I, I, I play on stream, and then I put it on YouTube. Are you Twitch? Yeah, so Twitch.tv slash Rick and Skull. Yeah, that's what I'm going to do. For the vlog to do like kind of like the hands of my phone. Well, I, well, I spoke to him yesterday about it. He's like, you gotta make a decision. I do it, don't do it. And I'm like, honestly, yesterday I was like, maybe I don't do it anymore. But uh, I think what I'll do is I'll, I'll vlog along, I'll take the channel down, and then and then I'll release it all like once I'm done. You know what I mean? Oh, yeah, yeah. 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 And that Raise, could be the sweat. Raise it up. Because I kind of wish that I'd vlog my Macau oh. journey, but the problem with that is like, if I start advertising oh. Macau, then like, we're just gonna get influenced on like Rex. It's, oh. not, it's not good. Well, game. also, you're going to not get in a certain oh. game, so I imagine. Yeah, but we can't public games. So it's like oh, everything's cool. public? Uh, well, I can't get in private games. Like, 4,000. Raise to 4,000. 4,000 is the you raise the with, with Big you know what, Slick yeah. suited from Ginge. What about your 4,000? Quick call from I, Doug I, with Ace-10. Suited. I, I think 10 pretty pretty darn. So. Ooh, two spades. <laughs> <laughs> Doug slightly ahead here. Uh, uh, King Kai sending me text messages of a blowout tire. I think the year says 2018 though. Yeah. Those look like old tires. He just punctured a hole in his own tire. No excuses, Kai. Stream like a champion. You know the rules here. Calls 27. Looking for a spade is Doug. We're at 10. Now it's chop chop. Jacks and sevens, both players with the ace. Can one player get the other off of it here? Doug free rolling though with the spades. Well, there's, there's a king that could, could still come. It's not coming. King of spades would be spicy. Yes. 6,500 is the price. Yeah, she saw me, she got excited, and ran back up the air, and she put her legs. Don't make the call. Or he's reaching for raisin chips. Oh, they, wow, that's interesting. Those got to play. Those yes. got to play, yeah. Interesting raise here from Ginge. Going to represent the Jack. Let's see if Doug believes him or not. Really irrelevant if Doug believes him. Drawing to the flush. No good, and Doug oh, wastes no time. Quickly makes the call here. In position on Ginge. Both players have whipped here, but I don't think we're gonna see a chop. Somebody's gonna get after it. Will Ginge pull the trigger? If he tells a story there on the turn, he's repping the jack. Needs to pull the trigger. Needs to be rather large here. Could be for all of it. No, pulls, Check. shuts down. Doug has plenty of showdown value with his ace. Don't see him betting here, so looks like we will indeed head for that chop. Doug's in the streets, so he rips All it. in! Doug is getting after it. Well played, Doug. Ginge will be folding. You're not taking a check call for your entire stack. Not buying what Ginge was selling. Well, this is a similar it's not situation happening. No. as yesterday. It's not happening. It's not happening twice in 24 hours. It's not happening. This is a great play, though, by Doug. 
An excellent bet from Doug. All the haters in the chat for Doug's. Take a back seat. He's locked in today. Jinj, all the way from Thailand here, playing at the Lodge. It could be you folks watching at home. Hit me up, Skull my Poker, table 11. Under the lights, and don't be too surprised if he doesn't make this call. Not calling, Rick. Did it yesterday. Not doing it today. In the tank. Prove me wrong, Jinj. Prove me wrong. Sick to his stomach. $40,000 hero call? Not today. Not today. And it would have been excellent to see. If Ginch pulls the trigger, continues telling the story that he told on the turn, I don't see Doug calling there. But got a little cold feet. Might need to send two hot dogs to those cowboy boots for Ginch. Just to heat him up a little bit. Excellent camera work here from the maestro, Matt Sweeney. And this is what it looks like to be in the summertime blender. for chips touching the hat touching the glasses rubbing the shoulder perhaps second guessing the brunch from Denny's this morning stomach is starting to turn Ginge has another bullet. So that might be in the back of his mind if he's called Makes and he's wrong. Oh, Doug. Nice play from Doug. I thought Ginge might have it in him to make a call. He did the same thing yesterday. Yesterday was for what, like 18,000 hero yes. call? This yes. was for twice that amount. $40,000 hero call, very tough to do. Doug, up $80,000. You're right on that turn where Ginge shows a lot of weakness there yeah. checking that river and checking Doug, the river realizing that applies max pressure and gets him off the chop and Doug is on his game today up about 80 grand Alejandro, we have uh, a seat for you. Come on up. Open seat, table 11, under the lights. Check. Ten of spades. Check. Check. Spade draw for Doug with two Check. pair now. Eight. Kings and eights. Two pair, seven, eight. And Doug is heating up once again. Rampage continues. Button's good. Well, yeah, I don't think so. It is kind of space. Let me double check. Get it. It's cherry bumping you, though. And Jin just found out. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. I was actually going to call. I was going to be like, chop. Let me see you close. Oh, okay. All right. Doug just told him what he had the previous hand. It is fucking hard to bump. You're an ace king. Holy fucking shit. But I mean, like, when I had my hand, I, I just have to. As both the and the Queen Diamonds on the river, I'd walk all the uh, ace jacks. That's a shot, right? Yes, it is. Live 800. It's the best suits I can have here. Okay. Hold. Hold. Imagine doing that twice in a row. Two suits in a row. Cool. No hands off for Doug. 10,000 total. Three bets to 10,000. Putting those chips to work. A skyscraper of banana yeah. in front of Doug. Not just a tower. 
the Empire State Building. Two packages of big league oh, chew. No, it's banana. We're not talking pinks. Right, Come on said, now, I Rick. Thought you said We're pink. talking banana. What color is a banana? Yellow? It's a nine. Kind of like your Bruins jersey. They're about to go home for the summer packing, golfing, about to lose game seven. Sorry, Rick. Where are the Islanders? Oh, yeah. 7,000 7, is the bet from Doug. Doug has all the aces here in his range. A disgusting flop here for JD. He's going to surrender. Doug picking up more money in another. the streets. Approaching $100,000 for Douglas Polk. It's looking pretty good for me for the sandwich. Yeah, yeah. As you're going to win a sandwich on our Bruins bet, it looks like. <laughs> still up, you're still up one. Yeah. I know when he's working it too. I'm like, he's made, he makes all those fast decisions and he takes his time. Approaching 3,000 in the chat, folks. If you're joining us, please hit that like button. If you're new, subscribe to the channel. Say hello. Our streaming schedule are Monday, Wednesday, Friday, and Saturday. We start at 3 p.m. in the afternoon. So come back and join us. I think you're going to like this channel. We put a lot of hard work into it. And we don't take the uh, viewership for granted. So thank you, thank you for being with us. Edward, that's a little harsh. Worst commentators ever? Come on. Somebody's worse than us. That's okay. Jacks for Josh. Thanks, Edward. Nines for Nick. That's funny. And a flush draw for Nick. For a clubs on the turn. Otto, hello from Germany. How are you? Check. Five of diamonds. Jacks are going to win this hand as long as he stays Check. in with Josh. Check. Josh is going to take Check. it down. Shout out to Michael from New Zealand. Yeah, that's right, Edward. The chat has our back. And we have the chats back, all these chat pros, poker pros, poker fans. Come on down to the lodge for a visit. Don't just watch the stream from afar. The Lodge quickly becoming oh, one of the no, best poker rooms in the like, entire world. So come on down and see it for yourself. Oh, yeah. Wow. You've earned it. You've earned it. Can you imagine if you had two of those hands yeah. in, in the yeah. Oh, my God. That's a great oh. yeah. That's Thank a you all for the kind words. Hey, we're just out here having fun. I don't know who the best is. If you make that second call, I think I know we're not the worst. Ace-10 versus ace-4. Two clubs. JD looking for the flush draw. Yeah, JD's due, so. <laughs> JD, a professional, has good etiquette, a nice gentleman here. Let's see if he can take down the pot. Does. Thank Skyler, you, Skyler, man, yeah, that's, that's, cool, Skyler. that's a great comment, man. Welcome to the party. You are officially a resident of Chatsville. Population 61,400 and counting. Chatsville still, homes are affordable in Chatsville. When we get to 100,000. Property taxes going up. Property taxes Streaming go taxes. up, yes. Tennessee Chad here on the button needs to open up the action here. Oh, he raises. So there was already, uh, I thought that was a double straddle. It looks to be it was a raise from Pierre to 800. Or is it the double straddle? It was a double straddle. Yeah. So Chad will take it down. Nice bet from Chad. Let's see where we are likes wise because we've got 25 minutes, folks, to get to 1500 likes. Go out, carry the two. We're at 1300. So we've got 24 minutes to get 200 more likes, and then we will give you overtime. Chat deserves it. 
got the. I was begging yesterday, and they said no, but they they came for one today. I mean, I want to do some small, big one. Let's do it. Eight hundred. Let's go for it. I like mine on ice, but I can't find it. Tennessee Chad, uh-oh. If you don't like it, you can't. Doug is looking for the tequila. No, you can't give it back. Tennessee Chad and Doug are about to do a toast. Tequila? Six four nine. I'll send you the I'll, I'll come get a You can order it online and deliver it to your, okay. to your house. That's six thousand five hundred. Yeah. Oh, like no yeah. sharpness at all. You know, like the, the the top pair for Ginge, two point five. Makes the call here. Now Nick turns to pair. Rough card for Ginge as he makes it 3.3. Nick loving life here. Just going to elect on a flat, it seems here. Makes the call 16.3. Pot building. Deuce of hearts. And there is the deuce. So two pair versus two pair. Not the day for Nick, how quickly things can change at the poker table. Last night, you run like God, you can't be beat, and now everything going against you the following day. Ginge goes for about a full pot. 15.5, Nick's gonna have to make this call. Don't see Nick getting away, he is gonna be little bit steamy when Ginge flips over the nine deuce. I don't think a raise is on the table, but we're about to torch 15.5. Nice hand to Ginge. Wow. Two pair versus two pair gets Ginge paid. There you see the cumulative winnings. Doug Polk up 93,000. Ginge now up 14.9. Pierre up 13.6. Tennessee Chad up 12,800. Everyone else is losing. Nick right now throwing the party down 60,500. He was the huge winner last night. Over six figures he won last night. And I can confirm that that was tequila, not whiskey. We know what's in that tall bottle is tequila. They let me off the hook for one. Just for free. They held the line yesterday. Jacks for Josh on the button makes it 2,000 to go. The straddles are on, boys. 100, 200, 400. The 800 has been on a couple times. 800 is on for Doug. <laughs> so we are out there battling on Sunday, Saturday. Ace 7 6. Checks around. And there's a set for Josh. Case Jack on the turn. You gotta earn it. You gotta earn it. 3,500. Half pot bet for Josh trying to take this down. I think Doug's going to look him up here with the second pair of jacks. Calls 35. What will Josh make this? I think he'll go about half pot, something like 8,000 here. Not get too greedy. Okay. Goes for 10. Let's see if Doug gets away. Probably putting him on a jack, yep. losing to all the jack tens plus. Any ace, pocket kings, queens, possible for Josh. He opened up the action, but you never know when the double straddle is on. People potentially get out of line sometimes. Doug says he's on the fence. 
Climb off that fence, Doug. Shouldn't be climbing fences. It's dangerous. Make the call. Josh with the set will take an extra 10,000 and put it on top of his chip stack. But I didn't know there was a jack kicker. Strong kicker. <laughs> 2800 in the live chat and let's see where we are we were very close we're still at 1400 likes we've got 19 minutes it's up to y'all folks totally in the fine people of chatsville's decision you're in a town hall right now you're voting whether we continue more of the stream Calls the 7,500. Only the way to get unstuck is by putting chips in the middle here. So 16,000 in the middle. Straight draw for Nick. Ace high versus queen high. Not really a flop there for Nick. Just a gutter ball, no diamonds. And Pierre is going to see that small here. Nick's going to chase after this gutter ball, it seems, makes the call. So it'll be interesting to see if everybody whiffs on this turn. Will Pierre fire the double barrel here? 24,000 in the middle, 10 of clubs. Now Nick in the lead with his pair of 10s. Check. Pierre slows down. Imagine Nick here will check behind, but he will not. Reaching for chips, I would have elected for a little bit of pot control on this turn. 11,000. 11, but he's going to go for 11, and that should shut things yeah, down. I, I didn't realize I was happy. I think you might have asked me. Oh, but I didn't realize he was on my commentary. Yeah, he does a really good job. You got him on payroll? No, you got him on payroll. Like, he works for you. Mike Brady works with every single company that I'm involved in in any Because I can't figure out he's like part of Lodge. Like, <laughs> he, he is like, I do more, I have more work related stuff with Mike Brady than anyone else by a mile. Every single thing I do. Shout does. out to Mike Brady. Very he's, impressive. He's honestly the stone, the stone nuts. Super organized, has it together, really gets it. He can do public facing stuff. He can do like back end stuff. He can manage people. Everyone likes him. He's live eight on target nuts. Shout out to Iron Mike Brady. Iron Mike Brady just got his annual review from Doug Polk on Lodge Live. Straight for Nick. This kill is incredible. It's really good. incredibly good. I'm going to order a case. We're giving out things on the What's it called? And then the other thing that I love about it is their motto is the spirit of sharing. Thank you very much. Share with people. Right. It's redefining. What I thought tequila was in a way, because I thought that sharpness. Fifteen minutes like left, still stuck at fourteen hundred. Like Doug's liking the tequila. But Sorry, uh, what are the go for bottle? Casey Roberts, but we got fifteen minutes left. We're gonna ask for the likes. It's imagine what it's a, it's amazing what a winning session could do for the, the psyche. Of course, you feel like you know the game again. Talking about tequila. Tequila connoisseur all of a sudden is Douglas K. Polk. 
Two. Raised to 2,000. Hold. Hold. You gonna add that one into the Hold. other one when we made the video? Hold. I think, about, I think it's probably best to call the 2,000. Heads, okay. heads up, Josh and Pierre. Four or five like, suited. If I do analysis, it should be one in. But if okay. it's gonna be like a highlight reel, like on the watch channel, we'll probably put like best of gin, but it'll be a title of like whatever something. Oh. Yeah. Juice punch or juice punch? They used to take the piss out of me on the line. I used to go, is this GTO or Ginge TO? <laughs> How close did he get? <laughs> Not very close. <laughs> Nine of clubs. Two pair for Josh. Yeah, if you want, if you want to. You did it, folks. You made it to overtime, unlike the Bruins, who just lost Game Seven, and I lost the sandwich bet to Skull. You did it. Here, bet forty-five hundred with playing the board. Quick call from Josh. Ace is two pairs going to win for Josh. Here was playing the board, just trying to make a play at it. Josh scoops another one. So congratulations to Chatsville. You like uh, you drink scotch? Uh, no, I, uh, we made it to overtime. We'll stream till for another hour and 15 minutes or so. A lot of the room, a lot of the room, like whiskeys and rum, rum, So we drink a lot of Thai rum. Thai rum, man. I've got a bunch of rums at my bar, but I don't have any Thailand rum. I've never even heard of that. Raise it up. It's probably about 800. It doesn't sound good to me. It's not cold. It, it's, it's really good when it mixes with certain drinks, so it's like very easy to drink. Oh, it's 1800. 1800. I've never been a rum. Yeah. Heads up. Oh, yeah, they make you Heads up once again. Nick and Ginge. 874, couple of spades. Pair of fours for Ginge. Two pair for both players okay. now. 1,600. Oh. Check, check. Oh, King. King high. Ginger's going to take down that pot. We'll go on to the next one. Drink a lot of missed calls in Mexico. Yeah. I like it. There's a, it's like scotch. I mean, there's like hundreds of different agave yeah. plants. I've never drank that. Of all the tequila I've got, I've never drank it's very, it's very oh. smoky. That smells really good. If you like smoke, yeah. I like Phil Hemming. Yeah. connected to advertising one of them. I did a commercial for Kimo Sabi with Kimo Yeah, that says Kimo Sabi. It was like, on a set, we each had a, a mezcal, and then oh, we talked oh. about just like being friends or something. Oh, God. <laughs> There's got to be an amazing clip here somewhere. I, I don't even know if it ever aired. I have no idea. In, race to 1, the traditional way to drink it in Mexico is with like Cold. some citrus and then Cold. worms. Iron Mike Brady, take care. Which is what? ground up worms. Like Always a pleasure to have you in the chat and in commentary, whatever you, you know, prefer to do. do have a nice that? evening oh, in San Diego. you got to be kind of a sweet taste, I think. Like, it does taste Queen like 8 it Deuce, it, it, Skittles, it almost tastes like a pair of 8 for Duck. Yeah, it's got a little like warm spice. 800. Oh, I had you. I know. <laughs> Doug will take down another pot. One hundred, two hundred here. Past two streams, we've enjoyed it. We'll be back to 
a little 2-5-10 action on Monday. Hope you can join us again at 3 p.m. Central. Monday, Wednesday, Friday, and Saturday. One thousand three players to the flop. King seven deuce says the cards are catching up. Don't know what Doug has. A little mystery hand. Makes it twelve hundred. Nick comes along with a pair of ducks. Pierre folds. There's a ten of hearts. Check. What is the point of one from the Check. Well, this is Philippines. Goes check, check. You can't really get direct here from Thailand. Jack of clubs. Yeah, you can do Philippines, Korea, check. Pierre is out of the hand. Doug tables the nuts. A six of hearts. He was trying to trap Nick. But it went check, check. You have a cup in here? No. Doug raises again. King Queen option. Nick will take down that one. <laughs> Slick Rick Skull Mike here for another hour and five or ten minutes. Five or ten minutes? An hour and five or ten minutes. I'm going to about 7.30 Central time. Did we hit overtime? Yes, we hit overtime. From the blue line? From the blue line. Highlight the Carolina Hurricanes? Yeah, shout out Carolina Hurricanes. Skull Mike on a sandwich for me. We're back to even. But I'm odds on favorite to get it back here in the next hour. Wow, you're not even giving yourself the win yet. You don't want to jinx yourself. No. I'm the biggest loser of the lodge this year. I think my, my business is fine this year. There's no games I can beat. Thank you, Yee. I'll probably Nick with Big Slick, Doug with Jack-10 offsuit. Heads up. There's the ace, all hearts. Doug with a heart. Jack of hearts, 2,000. You was talking about playing the main, Josh. Are they talking about having Shows the ace. We'll take down another pot. Phil will move the button. So. That's the tank. That would be nice. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, I'm going to go play the main. We need to do it. They probably can't do it on day one. Oh, they can't do it on day one. I've always had a main. Also, the thing about the, the heads up is, like, when it used to be me and all my boys, we'd go play. We have whole crew. We'd do, like, prop bets with, like, future yeah, yeah, yeah. people. Yeah. LQ was always the biggest way. If you lost, you'd yeah. die. You'd yeah. have one. <laughs> we had all these different props with people. But now it's, like, every single one of my friends is retired. So it would just be me out there by myself. And then you get you get some guy that clearly plays it and goes. And it's like, what am I doing? Yeah, we've yeah, been, like, 20% yeah, It's like, I don't want to have to do that. Jake August with the 499 Super Chat. Double overtime tonight, fellas. Enjoying some bourbon and watching the best poker stream in all the land. Jake August, that goes a long way. But thanks, Jake. Cheers to you. Definitely don't want to have to ask for more likes. You know. Cringe. It's below the belt. That's the first time I've ever heard of that. It's, it's just below the belt. Heads up, Nick and Josh. Ace four suited. He's like, I put There's a four. Yeah, yeah, Pair of fours now for Josh. I'm never calling 
Thank you, Texas Rotor. Has the tequila played a hand today? That's a great question. From the polo? No, the tequila is even right now. Actually, a little bit down. He's about two thirds down. There's the V pip. Nick leading the way at 40%. Everybody above 20. I like when he plays the hand and then asks you, like, what would you do? And you're like, you have to be honest with him. You just like tell him, like, this is what you're doing. Hold. It's kind of a fun dynamic. Like, the one guy at the table just asked Doug, come side. Hold. Yeah, he likes to know. Like, I don't have the heart to tell him, like, I, I really don't fucking up raise. Raise it up to 1,000. I can tell you what I would do, but, like, you might want to ask. I can't. Oh, someone qualified. <laughs> Texas Rotor, when you come to the lodge, make sure you ask for me. I want to say hello to you, sir. Like we we got to really find in Austin the kinds of people that are like that, where they like, like poker, they play poker, but they, they don't even know this is here, or they don't know this is stream, but they'd like to stop by and play bigger. That would be sweet. Like 400. I feel like they've done a really nice job over at Hustler doing that, where you look at the line and they have a bunch of business guys involved. Oh, uh, I mean, LA's just full of these guys. I, I know it won't be the same. I, I know it won't be the same. But I, I feel like we There's definitely money in Austin. I feel like we can find people. Yeah. 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 yeah, that'll be good. Oh. Here's the call from Tennessee Chad with Jack Ten. The raise to 1700 from Nick. Jake August, wild turkey, rare red barrel proof to be exact. Ludo Poker. What's up, Ludo? $99 Super Chat says, best commentators, let's go. I saw him the other night on another stream. Battling with Garrett on his left. Sitting right next to Garrett. I was watching Ludo. You got to come back on down here and uh, battle to table 11. You know where. Under the lights. We love Ludo. One of the class acts in the poker world. Zach Huntington coming to the lodge for his 21st birthday this year, hoping to walk out happy. Win or lose. That's the way to do it, Zach. You will walk out happy because it's your 21st birthday and you've got... The world at your fingertips. Just don't throw up on the felt, Zach. Yes. King Queen 10, Ten top pair. two for JP. Not much going on for Pierre for high. So, two, two of the biggest things that help me out. Now it's 700, too, but um, I'm really strict on when I have my last cap in. Yeah, I don't have anything up right now. Um, and then uh, the other thing that really helps me with sleep is just making sure that you eat like three or four hours before bed. I do that most of the time. Awesome. I think my problem is I'm just staring at my phone too much yeah. before I go to bed. Now a pair of trays for here, but he doesn't have any outs because all the threes have already been played and accounted for. So you're saying a three not possible? How about the seven of spades? Seven of spades is possible, but JD's going to win this game. That's my problem, too. It's so easy to just, like, watch it. You know, I went to this, like, two years ago. I was like, you know what? I should read books. Because I asked all these people that I get here books, and I ordered, like, ten of them, and I put a little pissed on Instagram. I'm like, oh, these books I'm going to read. So I started reading the first book, and I was like, oh, shit, no, no, this is, this is not going to happen. I just ditched all of them. I read, like, 30 pages. Yeah, I don't read. There's a guy called Nabel. Grab a kind of just follow him over. Yeah. He, he, he's like, don't like force out read over. Just read. You might get a non fiction book. Oh, that seems interesting. That seems interesting. Read that bit. Yeah. Then put it down and read another bit. And then eventually, you kind of learn to like it. You just pick out the bits that you like. And then One of the real there. problems is my vocabulary sucks. <laughs> and so I start reading a book or a Wizard's Day book, and then I'm like on page one, I'm like looking up words. Yeah. And I get to page three, and it, you reach this point where you're either like, I'm going to stop fucking looking up words. Yeah. And I'm going to keep reading and not know what shit is, exactly. or the whole book will be like this. <laughs> you just, so you just fucking you just throw it. You just got to sit with Dr. Seuss or something. Oh, it's like high school or Yeah. 
My reading level is just so low, Riz. Nice. Guess if I can read fiction. Doug doesn't know how to read, Rick. He knows how to read, it just has trouble with words. Uh, you know, I've been enjoying this table talk today. Very jovial table. Everybody having some fun. That's the way it should be. Where are we at? 9 7 Deuce Skills. Gut shot for Tennessee Chad. Tennessee Chad's going to win another pot. On to the next one. He just makes a spot. He waits some weeks. He gets a hand. Belt Baller. Ginge, he told me he lives in Thailand. I believe he's from Australia. He's from London. London? But I know he lives in Thailand. Lives in Thailand. Spending a lot of his summer time uh, in Vegas. Such a nice guy. I've really gotten, uh, you know, enjoyed getting to know him over this past few days. Dean Meadows, $10 super chat. Learn Hold'em. Well deployed with the U.S. Marine Corps in 2006. Love the game. You got me through some tough days overseas. Thank you for the live stream. No, Dean. Thank you, man. That's a great story, and uh, we appreciate everything you did and do. Big raise. 4,000 from JD. Suited Broadway cards. Pierre's had these middling aces a bunch today. He's three bet him, he's flatted, and he looks to be firing in a four bet here. Pierre getting after it in the streets, carving out a bunch of bananas. That's a lot of bananas. I thought it was more. 10,000, still a nice raise. And Ginch is from Birmingham, not London. Close. Pierre's going to take it down. Yeah, nice little bet there from Pierre. Sent some weakness there in JD. Takes it down without even seeing a flop. A nice raise from the three seed. Hugh Osborne checks in from Glasgow, Scotland. He's having fun tonight, enjoying the stream. What are the odds that you have back-to-back -back Hughes in the chat? Pretty slim. Yeah. We're big in the Hugh community. Jimmy B, good night, Chatsville. Good luck to Skull tomorrow. Thank you, Jimmy B. Appreciate that bottle of black yes. label oh, sure. and crown. Thank you for the gift of liquor, Jimmy B. <laughs> Ace queen here for Nick. Josh with mm. the Mario Lemieux 66. Three betting the sixes to 3,500. Not going to get through Nick. King 10, five couple of diamonds. Check. Gut shot from Nick. Couple overs. Another king. Six is still in the lead here. Ace queen or a jack is what Nick is looking for. Also has the ace of diamonds, so potential bluff opportunity if a diamond peels, it does not. Check. Two pair of kings and sixes will take it down. Man, you knocked me out. I had King Jack. Bob Dabalina, longtime listener, first time caller. Hello, Chatsville. Welcome to the party, Bob Dabalina. Bob, nice to see you finally in the chat, Bob. He's right in the heater. Big Rodney, what's up, Big Rodney? Like Coming down to our last hour of our show. It's been a lot of fun. We've still got tons of more action tonight. And then we'll be back in about 45 hours for our next stream.
3 p.m. Central on Monday. Now, what are you weighing? No, I'm like, I lost 20 k this weekend. Pocket Queens now for Josh from sixes to queens. Yeah, you can make it with you can make it whatever you meant to make it. Dot Croc, every uh, five to seven hands, we'll have stats for you. That's our goal, at least. You always know how much they have in front of them every time you see the graphics of their name. It'll have exactly how many chips they have in their stack. But cumulative winnings and VPIP are displayed. We try every five to seven hands. TJ. <laughs> the great TJ. What's up, my friend? See if if you're a, a valued member of Chatsville, which all of you are, and you come to the lodge after a long time off, and then you come back into the bunker. Notorious TJ, welcome to the Chatsville. Hey, what's going on? Rick, Mike, good to see you. Chatsville, what's going on? How's our night? We've had a great, here comes a big bet from Doug with the ladies. Miguel Reck last night, how's he holding up tonight? A big winner right now. That's what I'm talking about. What do you oh, got? Pierre with the pocket sixes. Sandwich bet, Skull? Oh, let me do it. All I right. went in. Give me All the right. sixes. All right, I'm the queens. <sighs> Nobody wins a sandwich. Good stuff. Yeah. Doug I just, with the flew, ladies. just flew in today from Portland. It's raining and terrible cold up there, and it's 95 and sunny down here. So I feel like this is the place to be. This is like poker paradise every time I walk in here. Here's a $3,000 bet. Quick call from Pierre. Pierce cards are live. That's not one of them now. He's looking for a red six. Let's see what Doug bets here. Ten thousand. Look at all those young chips. This is the game. Here might be a non-believer here with the pair of jacks on the board. Less likely to have a bet in overpay. Quick Eddie. fold. Yeah, Princess of Epip says, should have moved here, TJ. The Princess of Epip just wants the commission on the house sale. Yoda of Chatsville says, howdy. Hey, Yoda, what's going on? You need to get your butt here in the door. Everybody loves Notorious TJ. I can't wait to get back on this beautiful blue stream. Well, I'm here. Uh, not this year. Yeah. Not going to be here this year. I got another year up in Idaho. I, I, I take, take yourself off mute. Like so he had to have it. I, guess it I just spent 10 days on the I'm Oregon trying. coast. Really, made it look really guilty to me was the Can you hear me? There you there go. Skull, Mike. Press the wrong button. So you're not moving here? Not, I'm not going to be here this year. I just spent uh, 10 days on the Oregon coast looking at houses out there on the beach. It's going to be real hard to convince me not to move to the Oregon coast after this week. Wow, Oregon coast. I know, but you got the beach, you got the redwoods. It's really your wife calling the shots, right? That's where she got her job? That's an option. <laughs> option A. But you got to call me out like that, Mike. Come on. Shout out to Emily. I know who she wears, the, the, wears the pants in the family. <laughs> I didn't know you were coming into town this week. I thought you were coming into town next week. I'm working with Poker News. Yeah, yeah. Wow. Really? Yep. So tomorrow I'm going to be the third man out there. And the, once the series gets to the main event, I'm going to oh. cover the Sunday Mystery Day 2. You know who has the chip lead in that tournament? Who is it now? It's me. Shut up. It's me. Are you kidding me? Yeah. That's what I'm talking about. Congrats, man. Oh, I would love to report you there taking you that thing down. Just follow my table. See what happens. Oh. I need that notorious TJ run good. I'll just be handing you whiskey all night, loosening Aces. you up. Aces for Ginge. Let's see how he does here. What flight did you buy into? Last night. Was playing until about 5 a.m. You're leading it. Yeah. Congrats, man. We'll see a lot of people out there fi uh, firing some flights right now in the afternoon and evening, so we'll, we'll see what happens. What's the big bounty giveaway? 100K, right? 100K. That's 9-5 deuce, couple of spades. 
Ginch with the aces. Rick, we missed another sandwich bet. I know. We were just over here chatting. We got. I got you in a stream. I think the following Monday. That's the uh, so my last day working with Poker News is Sunday, the twenty third. Okay. So and then I'll just take off the Poker News hat and put on the. How did you uh, lock up that Poker News gig? I uh, sent them a message. They're constantly looking for people. Believe it or not. There's the wheel. Nice. His wheel name is Clarence for Ginge. It's a pair of eights here for Nick. Pot at nine point six. I don't think this pot's going to get out of control. Nick has checked it on over. Jin does not want to fire in a value bet. Checks it down, and we'll take down the pot. All right, Savannah, this is for you. This next hand, we're only going to listen to the table. For Savannah, we love you. how much is in Doug stack what are we working with here we got 120 thousand in front of him north of that Way north of that, right? Close Way to north. Almost 200,000, right? Oh, Haven't looked at that look number lately. He's Jack, Queen Jack. I don't, well, no, she's not doing backwards to, to this day. But she's. Check. How you doing? Check. Pushing to play high school ball. She's a different 12 year old. Ball for JD, Mike. You know where you can't really work for uh, Poker News, Rick? Where? The Oregon coast. Yeah. Not much going on there. 2,500 to bet from JD. I'll be in Vegas the whole summer for the WSOP, though. Yeah, I'll probably pop out there for a little bit here and there. Anybody in Chatsville heads up the WSOP, hit me up. Three ball. Ace Jack is going to win this hand if he stays in. Will JD fire another bullet? TJ, let the uh, people of Chatsville know where they can uh, reach you if they want to hit you up on your social medias or get in contact with you. How, how do they do so? Instagram is TJReed1. Snapchat, Ace of Spades underscore five. Okay. And, and uh, Twitter is TJReedPoker, R-E-I-D. So hit me up. A lot of different Vegas. handles. I got, a, I got a big Airbnb with a backyard pool in Vegas. So Ooh, I might hit you up, actually. You want to be swimming in the summer in Vegas, hit me up. All right, I got a much smaller no-limit game with an empty seat waiting for me. All right, me TJ. So I'm nice chatting with you. Good to TJ. see you. Thanks for having me. Yeah. Chatsville, enjoy the night. Hopefully we'll see you here at the lodge. There you go. You never know who's going to just hop on into the bunker. The great notorious TJ. Nick from Ewell wanted to know his MySpace link. <laughs> of course. I didn't know TJ was uh, was here, so surprised to see him. All of a sudden, people just knocking on the bunker door today, bringing beer, black labels, H2O, snacks. People just wanted to shake our hands. That's happened today. Good stuff. Good game, of course. Friday and Saturday, 100, 200, and the boys have been putting on the 400 and 800 almost every single hand. Eight six Trey. Seti Maggetti for Nick. Set for Nick here. Not much going on for Ginge. Over cards, backdoor spades. I imagine Nick is going to play this one cool. Just flat to 1,600. Not much help there for Ginge on the turn. He checks. Slows down. Four thousand hold. I was surprised TCH stopped there at Dallas. I was a little surprised by that. Yeah, I'd like to. The Austin one I understand, but like... It's not stopped. They just, they're just... And, yeah, I don't 
think Doug stacked anybody today. I think no. it's just accumu- a, accumulation of many good hands. Nobody's been stacked, just quietly chipping away. But he's been playing pretty flawlessly here, clicking all the right buttons, and that's why he's got a massive stack, also known as heaps. <laughs> Princess sent her son to voicemail so she could focus on the best live stream on the planet. Yeah, I don't know why her son calls her in the middle of stream hours. He knows what's going on. <laughs> he knows. It might even be Jermaine. He used to work in the bunker. He knows not to bother Nakia on Monday, Wednesday, Friday, or Saturdays from the afternoon to early evening. Be gone! You guys want to play on stream. This is my contact information. Follow the instructions. Fill out the questionnaire or message the source. Skull Mike Poker on Twitter or Instagram. We've got another 15 minutes. Uh, actually, 45 minutes of our little show. Yeah, obviously, like, when you get these buy-ins, like, getting the money here is way more annoying. And there's just, like, Evan Yeah. I think I think we can do this game once a month, though. 1,000. Yeah. I think you can. I mean, with, yeah. I think it'll be like, you guys can hold this well, I mean, anytime you want me. Put them in the country. Calls 1K. Sounds calls 1,000. You know, some of those good for the stream, Jinji. You, uh, you put money in with oh, yeah, nothing, great. so that's always good oh, yeah. for the stream. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. A side, sorry, A side. I like to chop pots. I don't like losing pots. You want to come get a little bit? Oh, boys, come on. Check. Oh, yeah. What's his name? Oh, yeah. Chad. Chad, it's on you, sir. Uh, yeah, Chad. <laughs> That's 2,000. 2,000 is the bet. Well, we're talking about a drink of salt. Yeah, Doug with a flush yeah. draw. Calls 2,000. Tennessee oh, Chad comes cool. along with two pair. There's the flush for Check. Doug. Runner, runner, hearts. Check. Trying to trap here. Board no, is paired, but nobody oh, taking the bait. On, Checks no, all no, the no, way no, around. No, shit, <laughs> Finally hitting some cards. <laughs> Finally. Fun's good. That's good. That's good. That's good. Pocket nines here for Pierre. One thousand to go. Oh really? Okay. What did they say about their hand between the two of them? Jack's going to make another hero call back to back. There's your cumulative winnings. Doug up ninety three thousand. Ginge up eighteen thousand two hundred. Tennessee Chad up fifty four hundred. Josh twenty six hundred. Everyone else is losing. Pierre, 12,400, yeah, Nick, 48,000, and JT, 59,000. Everybody good? Everybody need anything? Some candy, water? Yeah, could you take some water? Yeah, some water. Thank you, man. Thank you, Sco. $400 straddle is on here. Doug, King 7 suited on the button will charge this dead money. Josh is going to defend Jack Nine of Hearts. Heads up. 8 6 Deuce Skittles. Top pair for Doug. And a Jack here on the river for Josh. And he's going to lead. A sneaky check on the turn from Doug. Let's see if he just wants to snap this off or go for a little value raise. I'd like to see a raise somewhere along the lines of 3,000 or so. Raise. 
3,200. 3,200. Your fingers are stuck in the cookie jar, Josh. Connor A for 510. Connor A. Somebody tell Connor his 510 seat's available. And somebody tell Josh that his pair of jacks, it's no good. Doug, always sticking to the routine on the river, whether he has it or he doesn't, trying to keep things consistent. And wow, Josh goes for the raise. Not what Doug was expecting. Not what I was expecting. 12.8. Josh battling here. Not satisfied in folding. Seesaw battle continues on this hand. An interesting one. Doug will sniff this out. Top pair. Bullshit kicker. Losing to a lot. But the line a little fishy from Josh. Weird hand indeed, Doug. I think Doug's going to sniff this out and make the call. He would have folded by now. Doug can do no wrong today. Approaching a 100k profit. Time to put the chips over the line and get paid, sir. Here, Rick. That's never really not too bad. Josh bet 800 on the river, Rick. Doug yeah. raised to about 3,200. Wow. And now Josh re raises to 12.8. And Doug's been in the blender for a while here. Makes the Makes correct the call. call. Nice hand, Doug. And Doug is about to cross over the 100K mark with that hand. $210,000 is what he's sitting on right now. Bought in for 100, so you do the math. <laughs> Lost about that yesterday. Trying to get it all back today. I know, but like I just raised raised to one thousand. <laughs> there are three thousand total. There's just some guys in that spot where I'm like they just they, they know what's going on up here where like they're capable. Call three heads up. Some guys I would fold that spot and be like, you know what, I'm just fucked. Please fold it. <laughs> but, <laughs> straight draw for Doug. <laughs> I'm not. Dead. You know what With I'm the ace high. Yeah. 1,500 from Nick. Thousand here from Doug. Ace high. Gut shot draw here. I think Nick is full of it here. Nick only has King High. A nice raise from Doug. Doug could do no wrong today. It's about damn time. Yeah. That's me. That's me. Oh, rabbit action. That's correct. Small, big. 2,800 in the chat. If you are new, say hello. If you are new, subscribe to the channel. 
and of course like this stream close to 2,000 likes we want to reach the masses grow this expanding community that we love so much we appreciate all our moderators tuning in today in blue the princess of vpip the yoda of chatsville jimmy bluffett approaching the seven o'clock hour and we're going to keep on streaming race to 1,500 Ten six tray, couple of clubs, pair of tens yeah. for Josh. The funny thing is, like, I saw you lift your cards up. Straight drop for Pierre. Looking for a nine ball uh, corner was, pocket. And I saw the seven of clubs, and I was like, what the fuck is this guy? <laughs> 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 oh my god. Marsh, we love you too. Yeah, 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 yeah. Brian, will you appreciate that comment? Well, I'm not gonna like lift my hand up and then put it down and rip. Four of hearts. Ten still leading the way. Pierre picks up a few more outs. A five or a nine now gets him home. Well, it's a weird spot because you check back the king and you're like, this is, you're like, this should be what I was hoping for, right? <laughs> like, I'm getting a bunch of action out with the king. 7,500. You have a couple spares, but it's like, not really. You really don't. That's why. Uh, it's a weird, it's a weird fucking spot. Big bet from image is huge here, 7,500. You're the right image. It's just like, it's a little over bet there. Like, if you do that to me, I'm fucking telling you. Yeah, no, I'm never going to do it to you. I promise. JD brings out the worst to me, so that's why I just fucking pull it and, like, get shown there. And, like, or call, and he'd be like, I'm never bluffing you ever, and just table that. <laughs> you pull it, I only have a jack. I just have, like, fucking nothing. Yeah. You have good cards. Nah. Oh, 7,000. Quick call from Josh. It's, it's kind of nice headed to, to the river. You're like, this guy is aggressive and will bluff. Because no help for Pierre. Josh is going to hold up like, as long as he stays thing. in. You can just call and if you lose, fuck it. Like, just keep your money. It's always a chance. That's a, uh, yeah, it's always something with that one. Yeah, yeah. Like, there's always a chance you're just going to call and win. Yeah. No matter what you think, there's a chance. It's, you're call and win. <laughs> it's the guys that you're like, is this guy ever fucking running in here? Yeah. Those are the worst. <laughs> <laughs> You'll be like, pleasantly oh happy. God, Dan, when we move into the new studio, we will mic the players in the new studio. That's actually a, an old heads up trick. When a match starts, you show down some like insanely thin value bets, and then your opponent is like, oh fuck, like I better keep it like that. And then you can kind of open it up a little bit. But they just like remember, and then like, if you feel like at any point they're starting to get curious, you just stick them with a thin value bet. And even if you lose, the, the EV you gain and like they like have to kind of respect you. That's, that's, that's a real thing. They're talking about the mind real games thing. of heads up poker. Pretty interesting. Also, early on when you meet people or play people, especially heads up, just be a massive station. Like, you will never get non equity left to me. Probably just like here's my fucking whatever, uh -huh. and then people will just stop bluffing, and then all their ranges get fucked up. <laughs> they have all this air everywhere. And Nineteen thousand in glorious, this man. pot here. Pierre bluffing with eight high fires in a healthy bet. Did, Only did a pair of tens for Josh, yeah, yeah, and right. that is a healthy yeah, bet from Pierre. Uh, Over bets pretty, the pot, sends in thirty thousand dollars. Josh not expecting that. Can he sniff this out? Pierre, does he look nervous to you? The part-time employee at Bass Pro Shops in the fishing department, trying to get a bluff through. The bet was so big, it was a six-figure 
Doug just talking about whatever with Ginge, Chad. Josh here has a crucial decision to make. What do you think here? Chat, is he calling? Or is he folding? Plenty of bluffs here. Clubs miss. When the text has to get small, the Seven, eight here misses. There is a straight, obviously, on board, but Pierre's in the straddle. It's possible he could have a 5-7. He showed a big bluff about an hour and a half ago against Doug with 5 high. That might be going through Josh's. Blocking mind. the 5-7 as well with a 7 in his hand. Josh in pain, agony, staring at Pierre. One hand on his forehead, another hand on his chips. What's going through his mind? Nobody knows but him. 50,000 in this pot. If he makes the call, will be an $80,000 pot here. Josh confused, perplexed. Probably leaning on 80% full, 20% call, I'd imagine here. Nice little camera shot and all that money in the middle. That's a $30,000 bet from Pierre. One of the hands of the afternoon, and we would not have been here if you guys didn't hit that like button. We're in overtime. Continue smashing that like button, subscribing to the channel. Josh. $30,000 action is on you, sir. One, if you think he will fold. Two, if you think he calls. One, he folds. Two, if you think he will call. It's usually one for a call, two for a fold. What are, you, what are you I doing? Right? I'm confusing the chat. They got to pay attention. I put one for fold. Yeah, he did, he did fold. Good bet. Pierre, show, show the eight high. Josh is oh, man, I made my ball. Feeling yeah. horrible. Yeah. The air has a lot of heart on it, that jersey. They're not falling anymore. Eight high <laughs> like a boss. <laughs> he did the same thing about an hour ago against Doug, and Doug just oh, snapped him off. All right, you're second best Italian player. <laughs> I worked myself up there. You worked through it. You earned it. A sick bluff by Pierre right there. Sick. $30,000 with eight high. You got the better hand? Call me. You can't. Fold. I win. Crazy. 3000 in the chat. You guys have tuned in for a treat today on a Saturday. Monday, Wednesday, Friday, and Saturday, they lodge live. Subscribe to the channel. This is where you can find us. Slick Rick, Skull Mike. Pocket sevens for Pierre now. That escalated quite quickly. King Jack five, all diamonds. Top pair here for Ginge. Heads up. Heads up. Between Ginge and Doug. Deuce of hearts on the turn. Ginge with his kings. 95? Yeah. Elk makes a good comment. Respect to Doug. He was equally talkative yesterday when he was getting crushed. He Doug, has a yeah. balanced chat range. <laughs> good Doug, comment, Elk. Doug is a fantastic <laughs> poker ambassador. Don't worry about Doug's bankroll. He's doing just fine professionally. And he could take the wins with the losses and take them in stride. Still with a smile on his face. Winning over a hundred thousand today. Nick and JD down fifty and sixty thousand. 
was a good pull. At least to 1,000. I was impressed by the speed of the pull, though. Like, when I have two pair, I make a big deal about it. And then I complain. And then I like, look at it. 5,000 yeah. total. You were just like, oh. The insurance policy, though. I thought about it. 5,000. I actually think I thought about it for like five seconds. I don't think I snapped it. It was really fast. Yeah. It was a very fast pull. Well, I was thinking, I, I thought a lot about it while it was going on. Yeah. Well, it's a weird turn spot, I guess. Oh. That's up. I, it just seems it has to be easy for me. It's pulled tempo really yeah. yeah. King, queen, eight, all clubs. Aces for Pierre. Two pair for Josh. Yeah, you're playing straight to it. This could no, be I mean, I, trouble I I if it's not for all the clubs, maybe. That may slow things down. 2,500 is bad. This is the rematch, too. These guys now have history, some bad blood. Round two, center of the ring. Just like yesterday, aces rarely won. Now they are behind. Deuce of hearts. Changes nothing here. 15.6 in the middle. Here looking for an ace, eight, or deuce. It's not normal. Normally when you have, it, was, it wasn't top two, but it was the next up. Yeah. You'd like, I don't know, most, what is it on there with a Some guys would fold that. I mean, I bet really small too. I bet one third five. It was yeah. a block. Yeah. Some guys would fold that, but like, you just kind of like, like you're your fold was such a good hand that you're getting in a territory that like, I. Bet from Josh, 11,000. Put the pressure on Pierre. Thinking like, I've got a middling two pair. That's a good hand. Like, I can't. It's a spot here for Pierre. He'd much rather have the ace of clubs, of course. He does not. No clubs for him. One pair aces, bullets. Top two for Josh. Nice bet sizing here from Josh. Oh, yeah. Ace 10, king 10. This guy fucking knows. I value bet two in that spot. I think like, you just think Pierre's going to get away. Lays it down there. A nice fold from Pierre. Pierre starting to get locked in here. These two going mano a mano. Man, you you know your shit, bro. It's a great play there from Pierre. You always see plenty of players, recreational players, and whatever stakes overplay aces. But Pierre, recognizing the situation, wisely gets away. They were drinking. Loses the minimum. I value you at the river and four. Yeah, I was just like, I like, you're bumping. You pulled it. And I was like, ah, the king's head. And he's like, an ace ten. He trips on the board or whatever. Live 400. It's pretty crazy. Hold. 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 Don't do it to us, Pierre. Don't go sicko on the Raise to 1,000. <laughs> no, that's all the only button. <laughs> <laughs> I can't see it all. Raise. 4,000. Big raise coming from Doug. Hold. He'll take down another pot. I fell yesterday. Got about 20 more minutes, folks, of our stream. Thank each and every one of you who participated today. If, if you haven't participated yet, there's still time. Let us hear from you in chat. Subscribe to our channel. Yeah, yeah. 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 Sixty-one thousand six hundred subscribers. We picked up a couple hundred coming in tonight. We appreciate all those who subscribed today. Jasbo Poker, excellent stream. Rick and Mike, you thank you, Jasbo, our good down. friend. Like you look kind of young, but your your vibe is very mature. Almost one thousand heads up. Baloney, Melanie, we are in overtime. <laughs> yeah, that's what I was thinking. Like, Ace, aces for JD. Straight draw for Nick. One thousand. One thousand is the bet. Big slick. Fair aces. Howie watching from New York. What's going on, Howie? I get notifications all the time. Tell me where, where. He shits on the dark room. That's not Howie the Kid. There's the back room. No, it's not. Back room is where the mystery bounty tournament is going on right now. The last hey, flight. What's your name? What's your name? about to tell you guys. You guys all went Jake Stein walked by. Oh, Jake Stein. Look at all those tables, folks. This is just the back half of the room. 
Front half is filled with cash tables. If you're in the Austin area, get down to the lodge tonight. Saturday poker. Jane, Jane, Doug, Doug Jane's Lawler. talking to uh, to Doug about that hand with the jacks where he checked raise turn and then checked river and let Doug jab. So Jin's still having Jin's having a couple nightmares about that hand. They're talking about it. I wouldn't even hero it up. I have no chance of doing that. I'm not. I'm not a sick fuck. <laughs> I don't have that. I don't have that gear. You call the turn check raise and hope to be good. Raise to 1,000. Just a little hint for everyone here. If I check raise to 0, I'm going to flop that. Oh. And check the river and you jam. Oh. I'm not calling oh. any signs. Feel free to do as you will with that. <laughs> oh. yeah. Well, unless it's a really nice spot. Yeah. 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 There's the V-pip. MSC says he's watching from, from Indiana, hopes to get down to the lodge one day. We hope you do too. Nick up at the top of the V-Pip scale. It's a little surprising. I feel like he's been kind of quiet, maybe just been active and not winning many pots. Sometimes it goes that way. Yesterday he was at the top of the charts, today towards the bottom. That guy does not put money in the pot. But he does it. He actually, he did it kind of perfectly. He just, in the biggest spot of the whole night, just ran it. Yeah. And then you're like, all right, I fold. And he, just, and he was bluffing you. And then it was just like, uh, it was just like you had to have exactly yeah. that hand. He did a good job. Double flush draw. Oh. 7 2 Jammer in the chat. What's up, buddy? Watching from yeah. San Antonio. Yeah. Oh, the thousand. What's up? Oh, was it on stream? Check. On stream, yeah. I didn't. I didn't watch all the time. Zealand Wiseman. Yeah, I played with Dylan Wiseman. Paul's 15. I got roped into a private game in Vegas. And they're like, oh, yeah, come play this private Three game. Three of diamonds on the turn. I guess I have to go to a private game. Maybe I can network and give it to someone else, right? And then, oh, oh 3,500. Well, to be honest, I think I was winning in the game. Oh. But I don't, I don't really know what I'm doing. I feel like, but it's just like... Want to play on the lodge? There's how you do it. Go to the lodge poker club.com slash live stream, fill out the questionnaire, or contact Skull Mike on his Instagram or Twitter at Skull Mike Poker or on his email, Skull Mike at the lodge poker club.com. Follow both Skull and I on Instagram at Skull Mike Poker or at Slick Rick Lodge. Race to 1,000. Sean, all the way from Johannesburg, South Africa, says keep up the good job. Thank you, Sean. Pasquale pops into the chat. Beck's life has been here since the beginning. That's what you love to see it. We stream for five hours. You guys should be tuned in throughout the entirety of the broadcast. Charleston, South Carolina, the Dirty South for Mikey H. I didn't really have a reason to fold. I've heard, didn't have, I've heard I just good things food. about Charleston. It's good. I've been there plenty of times. The food is fantastic really in Charleston. I mean, yeah. in big spots. My parents live about an hour and a half away from there. 
so I've, I've been there pretty. Oh, that tequila starting to take a dent. Oh, then, then. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I love your honesty. Yeah. Like, you know, I could, but like I would never figure it out. So. <laughs> <laughs> David, it's bring your own bottle. We do have soft drinks that we provide. Bring your own bottle. That's what BYOB stands for. I didn't know that. <laughs> Bring your own bottle. If it was Dick from Yuma, you'd probably bring a bottle of milk. 2%. Sure. Yeah. 1,500. Hearts. Tennessee Chad with the jacks and the hard draw. Nick with the straight draw. There's the four of spades. Nick looking for the eight of clubs only. That's the only thing that'll help him. It's like, it's like... The bluffs that are nice are the ones where you're like, this is definitely the right hand of the I can feel good. If I get caught with this, like, it's just right. It's the ones where you're like, it's the ones where you're like, should I have really gotten here? Probably not. Oh, fuck. Like, I got to kind of bluff it. goes the ones. I wasn't too sure. It was like, right hand of the bluff. I was like, you know what? Hey, hi. Yeah, yeah, no, Prince is a V pip getting a little cranky, a little hangry, yeah. perhaps. No tip for DoorDash tonight from Princess of V pip. Tennessee Chad with the check mark, pair of jacks, but Nick applying pressure here makes it 7.5 to go. Jacks and deuces here for Chad with the 10 kicker. Looks to be leaning towards a fold. These two haven't tangoed much this afternoon, and here we are on the river, Nick. Once it, it's hard to bluff. Oh. Chad makes the call. Don't bluff, Tennessee, Chad. Not today. Not tonight. 27.3 going over to the seventh seat. One of the nicest men around. And that goes for Nick, too. Both of these guys. Super friendly. Happy to have him here at the lodge. Table 11. Under the lights. Good call there from Chad. Well deserved. Well played. David French, you're a stone's throw from the lodge if you're in Houston. Two hours and 30 minutes, you'll be here at the lodge. No excuse for you, sir. Lodge is the fifth largest poker room on the planet. Certainly the largest within a 1,200 mile radius of where we are. Mark from Connecticut, how are you? When I'm when most people are stuck, they want to play bigger to get stuck. When I'm losing a bunch, I actually like would almost rather. Mark, how close are you to New Haven? Not be worried about it. Mark from Connecticut. And then when I'm winning, I'm like free rolling. Let's fucking go. Like in the hammer students, I'm like. We got about twelve more minutes. In our stream. About the what's right? I definitely feel that way when I'm winning. Like, yeah, yeah let's go, you know. But Live four. When I'm losing, I still win. <laughs> Either way, I always win. Live 400. It's hard to play the exact same when you're winning or losing. It's so hard to. Hold. That is for sure. Cost 400. Options. I know. It's just, it's just so I can count it up. Oh, you want to play Leeds and Army Tiptico? Well, it doesn't really matter, but like when I have weird stacks, I just like check. 400. Yes. <laughs> we might want to start a warning uh, an NBC each stream. What's that? The most valuable chatter? Yes. I like it. Two pair now for Josh. Might want to do a roll call in the chat. Final arguments, if you think you were the MVC of the evening. Why should we pick you? What did you provide in the Make chat? Make a closing argument. Exactly. <laughs> Ten ball. Josh is going to win with two there. A chat pro of the game. Of the MVC. Stream. For short. Maybe get some game use felt. No, we can give a sign. Coin. Coin or something. Yes, From the player of the game, that stream. Plenty of possibilities. I'd say Doug takes the cake today, but Pierre 
playing great as well. As is Chad. Jerome Teal from Melbourne, Australia. Jerome, have you joined the Slick Rick Skull Mike fan club centered in Melbourne? About 40 members and growing. They had a barbecue yesterday, sent us pictures. Are you going to the Series Bowl this summer or Vegas Bowl? Yeah, I'm going to Vegas. I'm going to Vegas. Huge in Australia. Dutch lad putting in a vote for himself. Princess votes for Vex. This game right now is actually one of the fastest games I've ever played. Like I step outside to go on my phone, I look back, they're, they're shuffling up the next game. Set the pace. You're the pace car. Everyone actually plays fast. It's tough when you want a little break though. You're like about two seconds on your phone, you're gonna hop back in. It's good if you're stuck. Yeah, that's good. Is it city of Macau? You find your phone. It's 645. Yeah. You have to like stand up. You get hungry. I I kind of like that. It is. King Deuce 4. Not much going for anybody. I really think phones are horrible. Stand behind chair. It sucks you out of the moment of being in the place. 2000. 2000. And and I feel like when everyone's on their phone, like. Like when the stream breaks, if the game keeps going, yeah. it's like seven guys on their phones. Well, yeah, we gotta catch up. So it's like, well, that's true. That's true. But, but you know what I'm saying? Like, I, I don't know. I feel like being in the moment is just so I appreciate it. Thank you. So valuable. Nick wins the pot there. Coming down to the last few hands. We've got about eight more minutes or so. Maybe, maybe I'm wrong. I know you're really. I'm sorry. Yeah. And, and I think like. There's a lot of value in the moments. They were saying in Macau, you're not doing the That's right, I moved the button out of the way to get the pot. Yes, you have to stand up. That's right. I think I was the button. I was the button. It's okay. You don't probably tell me. And then you're just I moved out of the way to ship the pot, and I guess I threw it all the way. Aaron Scott with the $15 ship chat. First time viewer of the live stream. Been watching for a couple of hours. Nice job, fellas. I've really enjoyed the community and the action. Thanks, Aaron. Thank you, sir, and welcome. You are an official resident of Chatsville. Yeah, that's an awesome comment, Aaron. You are welcome here at any time. Remember, we stream four times a week, so you know where to find us, and we know where to find you, sir. Yeah, winning all that money really stopped me from continuing to do it. Thirty-two hundred. Thirty-two hundred is the race. Uh, and we're down to our last two hands, folks. One hundred and fifty-three hands will end the stream at one fifty-five. Gave you a lot of action tonight. Two more hands left. Yes, sir. Two hands Texas Rotor playing right here at the Lodge, of course. I have a large bag for that mystery bounty coming back to about 715,000 chips. Restart time is 2 p.m. I hope I don't disappoint the chat. Hopefully I win some cash money tomorrow afternoon. Harry, much love from the East Coast, he says. Here comes the race from Nick. Down to our last two hands. Let's see what happens. I've never heard nobody say that. Oh, oh, oh. Ben did really good today. How much did he want to go? Almost 2,000. Maybe I got that in the heck because I don't know. Pocket tennis for Tennessee. Chad, King Queen, eight. Two pair. Check. I made a terrible, terrible, for Nick. terrible one. I made a good one. 3,000. No, no one's had the heart to break me to my face, but I know they're saying it's my back. <laughs> and Nick will take down the second to the last hand of the night. Here we go, folks. What was going through your head? Thank you. Too many sessions here. Certain things going through my head. You don't think you got Andy, thanks for that comment, man. His size is small, though. It really means a lot. Minimum value hand there with Ace King. Skull and I are big fans of 
of a lot of streams, and we 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 just hope we're in your mix when you're watching. Here's the last hand. Phil will pitch the cards. Nice big pot for like the show and the content. Uh, Good content. Last hand. So I just said, fuck it. Uh, Two thousand. The best JD, nine ten off suit. Yeah. His rear size was a little funky. It was a weird size. Nick, Josh is the only one left, I think. But like uh, that. I don't remember what the board. Check there, right? That's like a check. I don't remember what the board. That will do it. There's your final totals. Cumulative winnings. Doug Polk up one hundred nine thousand. Ginge up 27-2. Tennessee Chad up 14,700. Everyone else lost. Big losers tonight. JD lost 58,600. Nick lost 62,100. He was the big winner yesterday. And there's your V-Pimps. And Skull Mike, your thoughts on this great game. Now, an exciting weekend of high-stakes poker here from the Lodge in Round Rock. It's just amazing how things can change from one day to another. You just got to bounce back as a poker player. Put the day before in the rear view and focus on each and every session. Doug, a testament to that, wins big today. If you want to play on the stream, this is how you do it, folks. We don't just stream the nosebleeds. We have 2, 5, 10, 25, 50, 5, 10, 20. Come on down to the lodge. Visit it for yourself. You want to play some tournament poker. You want to play on stream. Rick and I would love to meet you. Don't forget, we'll be back on air on Monday for that 2 5 10 match the stack. I promise you, it will be an exciting week of streams this week. Plenty of special guests. So we'll see you in Chatsville in a couple of hours. Yeah, for Maestro Matt Sweeney, the executive producer of Lodge Live, for Kim and Brian, who were on Action Tracker and Camera Work today, for Skull Mike, my partner since day one, episode one, my name is Slick Rick. We will see you in 45 hours on the Lodge Live.